That's what I meant to do. Uh, well, well, that's not exactly it, but we'll, we'll get it figured out. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get ready to start it. So, I will start it in three, two, one, go. Okay. Now, so the beginning over here, I don't know why we're in this fight scene. I don't even remember the, uh, the, uh, the prologue anymore. But, uh, basically we want to, um, kill these guys as fast as possible. Simple enough. So, if you do this in the, uh, normal mode of this game, which it has two runs, uh, two modes, speedrun mode and then regular, mo like, campaign mode. Right now we're in speedrun mode because it helps for, like, uh, timing. Make sure nobody's, like, clipping sections of the run. But if you do this in the campaign mode, you do this a little bit and then you restart checkpoint and nobody will counter you. That's what these, uh, triangle button prompts are coming up for. Uh, and we don't want them to counter me because that, that wastes time. Bad. But unfortunately in speedrun mode, it, uh, they always counter you, so it's kind of a... Oh yeah. Okay, so now we're in a, you know, just a bar fight. Why not? Okay, so this part, there isn't really that much of a an order in this. Because, okay, that was interesting. That's never happened before, and I didn't even mean to do that glitch. <laughs> Um, oh, anyways, if you like hit people around um, the scenery and everything, you can kill them faster. Like there's bottles everywhere, and you just kill them in one hit. So, but it's really hard to like push anybody into one corner without just wasting time. And now we have to fight this guy. So these guys are going to be uh, appearing a lot in the run. I think at least four times, Come on. but uh, this guy's going to be the uh, the longest one to go through, I think. Honestly, Nate can take a pounding. So I don't even know why I started hitting him, because it actually loses time. <laughs> And then right after this section, because this, uh, the beginning of the game is kind of a, a little exciting. So I'm not looking at chat yet. Oh, great. You know, I've been forgetting we've been on push to talk this whole time. I'm not even going to lie. Okay in there? It hurts? Just my pride. Oh, for real? Oh, is it, has it been turned off? Go, Nate. Here. Get out the back. Hold on. One moment. Oh. Yeah. So I'm not actually paying attention to the uh, stream yet. Alright. Hmm. Oh, sweet. It is working. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Whenever I got into the chat, the, the, it was on push to talk. Anyways, it's we're we're good now. It's fine. <laughs> Maybe upstairs. Okay, now I have chat up, so uh, I got this. Totally professional. Hmm. It's gotta be in one of these cases. So, cutscene. Uh, essentially, the reason why we're uh, young again. Uh, flashback, something like that. We're in Colombia. The country of Colombia. In the city of uh, Cartagena. Yeah, this is kind of odd. My pal is not able to be heard. Up with 
Okay. Ah, there he is. So this is a, actually a pretty slow part of the game because there's a you just walking. It's kind of tutorially. Even the beginning was, but at least that action. Don't mind if I do. It was rotten anyway. Ah, now where did he go? Oh, that's fun. I love how Sully gets stuck there every time. And then if we, uh... Well, usually you're not following this close where behind. So that NPC that walked in front of him is usually already out of the way. And then we're gonna get to watch him uh, walk through a door. Yep, there he goes. So there's actually a few um, parts in the story, or in the game, where you can uh, restart checkpoint and it gets you ahead than if you just didn't. Uh, I guess they didn't really think much about the uh, checkpoints. Now he skipped that whole little climbing section there. What's he doing in there? I need to get a better look. Hey, Nate, thanks. Glad you went slowly there. And then we have an unskippable cutscene. Aquí lo tiene. That's a ticket. I'm not sure why they made some of them into like actual CG cutscenes and some of them they didn't. Okay. I gotta get oh. Crap. I can't go down that way. That could be it. Okay, sorry about that. I stopped going fast for a moment. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yeah, that might be it. Oh, that's that's yeah. I knew that was probably a, a me thing. Me? me? Okay, there we go. I turned it off. I mean, I turned the desktop audio on, so we're we're good now. Can you hear me? Yeah, that might be it. Oh, yeah. They should be able to hear you. Yeah, let me turn off the stream. A me thing audio. Good job. Down there. Ooh, that was good. Oh, who's your friend? Oh, there we go. Camera turns on us right there. So yeah, you should. We should be good now. And uh, oh shoot. Wow. Okay. Don't want to go down there. Hmm. This is a interesting problem. Okay, it's right there in his pocket. Now's my chance. All right, museum's closed. Ah. Uh, task. Oh, that was close. Ah, uh, come on. Let's okay. Stop that boy. Holy crap. Uh, come on. Can I be heard now? 
Hello? Uh, why is my mic not being picked up? Oh, jeez. Trying to do the run and talk at the same time. <laughs> oh, okay, I, it feels like you're not. So I'm really kind of confused about what's going on right now. I turned the desktop audio on, so that's good. But Hey, at least I'm still kind of going fast. That's the whole point. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. I'm a train wreck. Let's get moving. Okay, well, I'm just going to keep on going since apparently I am being heard. This way. There's a lot of stuff that I missed uh, explaining there, but it's all right. Come on, Charlie. What's the holdup? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, you can hear him again? Yes. Okay. That means you're able to be heard, apparently, Oz. Soon. It'll be over soon. I'm not sure how this is working, but apparently it is. So, oh, well, that's the stream. That's what. That's blocked. Wait, we can get around this way. Yeah, yeah, right. So yeah, let's let's hear it. Oh, there's a bus. I got it. And jump. Come on, easy. Move your lazy asses. Yeah. Thanks for the help. All right. Looks like the coast is clear. Hello. Tempted. Should be off now. Back there Sweet. Yeah, okay, yeah, so yeah, I get the problem. Trust me, that's not the so I don't need to be holding yeah, well, push to talk because I'm the one streaming, me yeah. and us. Didn't I tell you? Yeah, oh, I'm not really thinking right Look, now. I just hope you're right about this. So yeah, I think you, you should have been heard on that. Seems pretty quiet. Uh, Sully and Cutter are going to get in my way, aren't they? Oh, oh no, Cutter is. Can I tell you? Yeah, I'm not really thinking right now. So yeah, I think you, you should have been heard on that. <laughs> so yeah, you're, we're, we're good now. Everything everything is fine. Okay, so we're going to go the faster climbing route. Most people go on the top on that rail there, but it's actually not faster. And then jump up. Oh, bad jump. Yeah, actually that would be best, wouldn't it? I think I'll do that. Hold on, let me get that set up so I can so I'm actually talking in the Discord. Empty? Wait a minute, where did it go? Where the hell did they go? This is about to be a good part where I can. You were here, all right. Okay. Okay, there we go. Still wet from the rain. Looks like the car turned here. Okay. Okay, there we go.
Okay. And then now. Uh, <clears throat> yes, what I was thinking of doing. So I was going to say I'm going to be putting in the and two. There we go. So now I should be heard from my desktop <clears throat> audio only. Yes, what I was you should be of here, of Oscar. You can hear me. The... I'm here. I can hear you. With this girl. Okay. Okay, I think we have this. Stand right there. You too. Like there and there. I'm here. I can hear you. <laughs> so you see three? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what we're playing. A category that doesn't actually exist. And so UC three. Yep. Well, this nice one. <laughs> Say what? Wait. Nice one. Wait, it's a category Thanks, that doesn't actually exist. <laughs> you know, I don't really know if jumping is faster here, but it feels nice like one. it. So I'm just gonna jump. Yeah. So it's like it's, it was faster in UC. Looks like they bored straight into the old service tunnels. Yeah. So, like, it's, it was faster in UC1, at least. Hey, over it's here. faster in UC4 to jump and roll. So I just. We should be able to squeeze through here. Yeah. I think. Lead on, Macduff. Oh, for God's sake. What? Lay on. Yeah. It's lay on, Macduff. <sighs> right, yeah. I usually just. Do the same thing as UZ1, jumping out of combat right, right, and jumping, yeah, yeah, yeah. not not jumping oh, okay. in combat. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Oh, just keep moving. Oh, I guess they weren't hearing me, huh? Well, that's interesting. <laughs> this wow. is just all kinds of messed up. How can they hear me if I'm not here? That's fine. They can just listen to me. Okay. Right. Nice one, nice. Let's see, am I gonna oh yes. Nice! Oh I love that. So essentially there's a few things in this game that make you faster. One of them is getting uh I guess I'll call it shooting speed. Occasionally there's parts where just randomly firing your gun makes you run faster than jumping or just regular running. So we're just gonna walk right past these guys because uh we're just gonna die. Trust them. Yep. Dialogue gets a bit messed here. You're supposed to like, stealth kill these guys. Yep. Nice. Fast jumps. And now we wait for Nate because, I mean, not Nate, Sully, because he's old. And old people are slow. True fact. Alright, ready? Pull. Your chapter 12 skip? Oh, I don't even remember what that is. Did you find something French? Okay, Charlie, come on. I don't even remember the chapters in this game. I don't either. I see Matt is always getting mad at me, or like he's always like, "What the heck? You don't know the chapters?" And I'm like, "No, I don't memorize all of them. I only memorize well, I, the ones that I know I like. the chapters and all the other ones." Oh wow! I forgot the most about this one. I actually played the game yesterday, so I could remember all the stuff. Damn. Only any person. So we're gonna go ahead and shoot a little bit. Okay, so there's this thing in the game where if you hold up on the D-pad. You actually, um, it breaks your landings. Uh, so whenever we jump from heights like that, we're just going to hold up on the D-pad and it stops us from staggering. Pretty useful, I'd say. Yeah, I don't even know what your skip is, French. <laughs> no lie. Wait. It's a counterweight up there. Looks like it's stuck. Which chapter is chapter 15 again? Uh, 12? 12. That should be the one... That might be in the like Yemen underground, or I don't really remember. I think it's the one after that. Oh, I jumped too weird. Yeah, no glitches, stands there. Oh, that was good. Almost there. Nice. Yeah, I know French. It's it's kind of frustrating for Uncharted Three, well, any of the Uncharted games, but uh, it is glitchless. <laughs> Slow has a good point. It's kind of called no glitches allowed. 
happening. I'm just saying. Yeah. If anyone's interested in seeing the glitches, they're pretty cool. Actually. Oh yeah. Heck, if for some reason the next runner isn't ready by the time I get ready, I'm gonna go show off some glitches. What the hell is this place? <laughs> <laughs> right on. Oh shit, get down! Okay, now this part, I always forget, you have to actually like... Uh, isn't it faster to go up here, or is it not? I don't remember. Oh, it's faster to not go up there. I don't know, it's... Well, to shimmy or to walk, it's usually faster to shimmy. Yeah, there we go, because I can jump right there. That's it. Hey, Nate, do you want to, like, get up there? Thanks, man. Oh, no, he doesn't. Okay, well, I've never known that to be a problem. Uh, come on, Nate. There we go. That was pretty slow. Hands up. Don't move. Uh, I'm just gonna. Yeah, that guy just kind of dies. I know there's a really good kill we're about to get coming up. We kind of just like throw him into the wall half-heartedly, <laughs> and he just dies. It's pretty great. What the hell kind of place is this? I've never seen anything like it. Some sort of train station or something. Yeah, yeah, this got to be almost 200 years old. So we're gonna go up to this wall right here. This dude's gonna come up here and then uh. Wait for it. You just kind of throw him into the wall. That was that was it. Come on, they must have gone through here. And jump, because we actually get walking speed right here. This stone work looks like Tudor. And uh, walk the speed of that. century. Well, you can do that in Uncharted 2 as well, Hutch. Lara Croft has nothing on it. Oh, I know, right? Nate doesn't need an ice pick to climb, he just uses his fingers. Nah. Right. Well, he needs an ice pick in, well, uh, whatever uh, it's called in, in UC4 and Lost Legacy. Oh, no, well, shh, UC4. shh, don't, we don't, we don't mention Uncharted 4, that's, that's the Six ugly speed duckling. game. <laughs> Four hours with one skip. Nice. I know, right? That's, uh, that's a little bit much. So yeah, more tutorial, and then after this, it's like pretty much no more. Quite the operation they got so we're just gonna kind of sneak around this table. No one sees us. And then, uh. First triangle. Yeah, I know. See, actually, the, ha the right half of my screen, like the very right half, is kind of cut off for me. Because I have this giant monitor over here. <laughs> So sometimes I'm like not looking at the prompts, and they come up earlier than I expect. They're here. Take cover. Honestly, I don't. I don't think Uncharted 4 was made by the same people. It's just completely different game, you know. Probably made by EA for all we know. Sick loot boxes. Oh, I know, right? Oh, you know what annoys me. This game had some of the best online. Wait, why am I not just? Running? This game had some of the best online multiplayer like ever. And uh, Uncharted 4 ruined it. The best part about like Uncharted 3's multiplayer was the cool like kill streaks you could get on it, and then like they completely ditched all the overpowered kill streaks and all the like yeah. so cool special abilities you had. Anyways, usually for the players, it always seems like a good idea to play, but it never is. Yeah, they made it to be like actually competitive, so people would keep on playing it. Which I mean, it makes sense. I get why they did, it, but eh. Anyways, I should probably explain those people with the red eyes. So essentially, it's just uh, normally you're not supposed to run through because we are on the easiest difficulty. So basically, people are shooting BB guns at us. But um, uh, they just used an existing like person asset, and then gave them red eyes, so they're supposed to look really creepy or something. I don't know. 
but the, it's just like snipers or something. Yeah, but it's it's not even a real person because you don't actually get to shoot him or kill him at all. Mm -hmm. It's kind of dumb. Yeah, but if you do a glitch, you can actually get there so fast you can see them disappear. Oh yeah, that's yeah, pretty great. Yeah. Grabbed a cow right there. Oh, and by the way, you don't actually. Oh, gotta be kidding me. Um, you don't actually slow down picking guns if you roll and pick it up at the same time. Doesn't really make much sense, but uh, it's what they decided on. It's a common thread in, in the UC. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why they did it, but they did. Animation. Up here, hurry. Okay, we're just gonna skip all these people because we don't actually need to kill anybody right over right there. We just need to like walk through. Let's shoot that and miss it 20 times. Oh my gosh. Better when we have a shotgun there. Well, anyways, we made it out of the London Underground. Now we're in France. Uh, I think something in that cutscene told us we need to go here for something. Uh, I know a little bit more about the cutscenes later. <laughs> like what they're actually saying. But, uh, in that map you found in the end of the year. Oh, yeah. Um, had the map and the map left to here. Oh, yeah, you're right. Uh, if you're wondering why I restarted checkpoint there, it's another one of those where like forces you to walk. Oh, great, I love this. Mm. Okay, well, I guess we're just going to do this the slow way. Oh. Oh, my gosh. This part is really awkward, and I'm just really bad at it. Now, Lawrence says the original castle was built in the 11th century. The rest was added on later. Jeez. Oh, this looks sketchy. I'm gonna shoot through there. Let's get shooting speed. Aha. D-pad so we don't stagger, and we keep on going. Peru, this is... What? Did I miss something? Godfrey brought any secrets back from Arabia. I mean, we're in Peru. We're you were in Somebody Bolivia. Somebody in the chat before. is talking about Peru, and I have... Oh, nope. I missed it. Oh, I still missed it. Oh, this is... This is pathetic. Oh. So, if, if you actually do that right, you can jump in midair, and then you land above the pipe, and it's faster. Way faster, but like... Right back. I totally goofed it. <laughs> so, you see how we had no bullets there? Well, sometimes the game likes to give us free bullets. Just because it knows that we're supposed to have some. So there's our free bullets. Now, I'm not really sure what happens if you run out of bullets again right there. And you don't shoot the lock. Maybe it just gives you even more. Gotta make our way through the Notice. chateau to the gardens. That's where we'll you find can show off the glitch here. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, we're just, while we're waiting for Sully to do his thing, he's just gonna kinda walk around the room and inspect things. We're gonna show off one of the cool glitches in this game in a no glitchless, I mean, in a glitchless marathon. So basically, when you aim at something and you hold in a certain direction, whenever you're in yeah, ducking cover like this, you press circle and then let go of aim and then you fly like that. So we can just kind of uh, wander around the room like this. Hey, get out of the way, Sully. Whee! But, uh, we're gonna go ahead and lift this dresser back now. Sully? Wait. Okay, thanks. <laughs> we're... it's... it's fine. <laughs> I didn't actually do that to get anywhere. Besides, Matt did it last run, so I think I should. <laughs> I think I should deserve to do one this run. Okay, uh, that's. I'm great. Hey, there's some kind of mechanism over there. I'm the greatest at this game. I pressed jump there, but the game didn't actually uh, jump. I promise, I'm not normally this bad. Just like a little bit better. Okay. There we go. I have an idea. 
Okay, guys. Well, I guess I got to restart. We're already like 30 minutes in, but it's fine. We'll just restart because I've used a glitch. Okay, grab onto that teeny little piece there, and we keep right, on going. Here we go. So right here, we're going to restart checkpoint again, right there. as soon as the camera changes. Because it puts us right down here. And it's like, ever so slightly faster. Okay, let's see if we can find a way to that tower. Okay, that wasn't. We're just going to drop down here. And ta-da! <laughs> Three more hours we could just start. I don't know man. I got I got Boy, things I gotta do after this, dude. Looks like there's a leaderboard for this. <laughs> oh hey, now that I think of it I'm assuming you're gonna gotta go back and clip this run, which means that I can submit this to the uh newly created category of UC three glitchless. Newly created once we create it after this run. Looks like we can get through here. Are you going to run it too, boss? Probably will. <laughs> It'll be great. Or what, I should say. You know, funny thing actually, I actually kind of like jump-started this game again when I had interest in it like uh, <clears throat> a couple years ago, I think. Oh, Matt says we can do it? Oh, heck yeah. Category is getting created. Well, well. Anyways, um, basically there was only two runs on the leaderboard because the previous okay. best, Greg, aka UK Thrillness or whatever his dumb name is now. Um, UK. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. He's, I don't know why he changed his name. Anyways, he used to have the fastest time in the game, but then he completely scrubbed his name from the leaderboard, so nobody knew how to do it faster. And then, uh, yeah, yeah, I am world record pace. Hey. No um, but yeah, he scrubbed his name for the leaderboard, so nobody knew how to do any way. of the glitches, <clears throat> except for Matt. But nobody else had interest in it, so I was like, hey, I want to like learn this. Right. And so he actually started showing me all the glitches, and then Arams picked it up, and Arams is like a god. So of course he's the best at it now. Should be able to get through here. Bye. What? Ten minutes, almost. Yeah, minutes? yeah. I don't know. I don't think it has anything to do with the fact that he has a PS4 Pro with an SSD in it, because this game doesn't have long loads and it also doesn't have very much frame drops. But like, yeah. he's just really good. Well, if you if you look at his speedrun profile, then you can see yeah. why he's in first place. But it's alright, Arams is a nice guy, so it doesn't matter. I'm never going to get that good at this game anyways, I don't put enough time into it. So it's alright. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and aim here, so we don't trip over that bump. There we go. We're just going to keep on shooting, clicking the trigger, because it's faster. And the game's going to give us a gun anyways. Top platform coming up. Should be able to climb up See if I can do this shootout. Piece of cake. Really fast. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we probably shouldn't French. Then it, it gets kind of messy. Yeah. Just gets brought up every time. <laughs> playing this game. People or are like, "Oh, why aren't you team. number one?" And then I'm like, "Well, well, you know, just super bad at it." I mean, I'm really not that good at this game. Anyways, we're just gonna shoot these guys out. Look at that, I'm gonna shoot these guys out. Not that good. Yeah, these guys can mess you up a bit. They're pretty yeah. random. I generally know the places where they like to go, but sometimes they mm. wanna go the same places. Oh, are you not dead yet? I'm not. There's one guy left. Oh, this is... Where is he? You know you killed all the guys because the hatch. 
up there opens yep. all the blinds open. Just gonna start. Oh, I don't even have any grenades. Where is he? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I heard you. Oh my gosh, that is the place they like never go. Jesus, they you gotta be kidding me. Okay, that really wasn't that much of me being bad there. That was just the AI doing unpredictable things. Cause that like there's nothing in that little like alcove you use at. It's just like an empty not even room. Nice. So I don't even understand why he was in there. Yeah. They are like this place especially is good for hiding. Too too early. Anyways. Now for a little bit I want to know anything. What's happening? Just, you skip this in the end percent, and then yeah, I yeah. build this game in a long time. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Uh, we have to do another shootout because of it. It's really annoying. In fact, mm -hmm. this shootout is probably worse. Because there's just a lot more people to shoot. Oh, hello. I'm going to switch to the AK. Yeah, I remember this one. Yep. So actually... It's usually a lot faster to just not even aim than most of these guys. The gun just does all the work for you. So I think it's the second wave that just spawned. Hello? The audio is I saw you. Oh, I thought I did. Where are these guys? Oh my gosh. Okay, now this is the second wave. I was way off. Uh, is that it, Sully? Is that all? He usually gives us an audio cue. Oh. Okay, now that we've killed everybody. We can sit here and bang on this door. So yeah, there's actually a glitch we could have done since uh, we didn't have to do that shootout earlier. If we had done the glitch, we would have just clipped right through this wall and this cutscene wouldn't have been loaded in so we wouldn't have to go through this either. We also wouldn't be able to have to go through the next room or the next room. Uh, it saves at least like five minutes. Just fall through the floor right here. Exactly. See this puzzle we have to do here? We don't have to do it in the uh, glitched version of the game. Sorry, I had to make sure I was doing the puzzle right. Because I know it, but you still don't want to mess up. <laughs> yeah, I think it's part of that. It's, it's around that time the AI is. Uh, close to like The Last of Us, where Naughty Dog is like bragging about how good their AI is and you know, how like adaptive it is. This is kind of neat, but you know, not fun for speedruns. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna let the AI, the AI and UC1 explore difficulty is extremely consistent. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Anyways, we're just gonna let Sully walk around here and light things on fire. Occasionally, he might like come up to this. Does this Tell me some stuff about it. Yeah. You know, that's whatever. <laughs> and uh, Hutch, you don't Sully, you don't know John what I do and don't know how to do. Well, he must have traced the clues back to the Crusades, so, uh, just like Lawrence. I'm gonna need you to I'm gonna need you to calm down, sir. Hey, look at this. PG thirteen stream. <laughs> script again. Yeah, come on, dude. But what are these symbols? Looks like he was trying to work something out. There's some sort of message written here in a Nokian script. Uh, and then we have to go uh, decipher this. So we're gonna have to press the uh, I'll try. Uh, the middle button. What is that even called anymore? I don't remember. The altar guards the no. entrance. To the I'm sorry, Hutch, I didn't mean it. Oh yeah, it is the touchpad, well, isn't it? Did use magic to conjure spirits. I'm I'm sorry, well, Hutchy baby. I'm, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to be so oh. mean. Right. No. No, please no. I'm sorry. 
Come back to me. Look at that. <laughs> Crafty old bastard. Oh, okay, never mind. I changed <laughs> my mind. You you stay curled up in a ball. Oh, here we go. Okay, so, so we figured out something in the journal, some kind of puzzle, so we pushed out the uh ah, much the table. You know, one of these days you're now we're down here. Um so this next room we're about to be in. Looks like you really wanted to keep something out. <laughs> oh, 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 that's that's spicy. Okay. <clears> hmm. <throat> Anyways, as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted. I got it. This uh this room right here is where we would have dropped at if if I had done that glitch, but uh, I can't. Looks like the family glitches. crypt. Anyways, well, let's go ahead and do this puzzle. Luck, see if I can remember how to do it. I've messed up on this a few times. Pretty badly, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna memorize this. Completely. It's like muscle memory, so like if you like forget the muscle memory for it, you just have no idea what to do. Yeah. Like, I remember the places, but I don't remember which one is actually. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I always just bring up a picture. <laughs> there's, like, um. There's, there's a good pattern for them all. So, like. Uh, if they're on bottom, they'll always be. So, if the pictures start on the bottom, they'll always be either on the. The bottom two rows. And if they start on the, uh. Top two. You know, right and left sides. And they'll always be on the second to top and third to top rows. And they always like switch places. So the one on the right will go to the left, the one on the left will go to the right. Same on the bottom. I don't know. It's it's kind of an interesting like mental way to think about it. I'm usually pretty good at memorizing. Never. Couldn't be bothered. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I understand. I just, I've just done it a few times without needing it anymore, so it's just there, and I sometimes get it messed up, but it's fine. Anyways, now that we're done with that 50-second cutscene, we go to another one, but at least it's skippable. Yeah, and this game is actually in the series. It's very handy that you can. Pause a cutscene with triangle. Give me a hit. Oh and yeah. It will both unpause with triangle, so you can mass triangle into cutscene. I guess it is. I just, <laughs> I just use the start button. <laughs> you should try triangles. Yeah, it probably really is a handy. lot faster. I think I remember on, go. Go. having that realization one day. What are we yeah. hunting, by the way? Um, something about some old guy. We're looking for him, I think, still. I think oh yeah that yeah. was his crypt we just we just found so yeah well, that was uh, uh, Sir Lancelot I don't know who it was right. all I know is there's this dead guy we're trying to find to get to the uh, is it the seven pillars of Aram I don't remember how many pillars of Aram were. anyways it's like uh, it's uh, some place in the desert that's like full of gold and stuff. We'll see it later. And uh, Sir Francis Drake, he like left a trail of uh, information and like stuff behind him. So we're trying to piece it together by going to these different places that he went to and left some hints for it. But uh, we'll find out later that he tried to cover up the trail, and that's why we're having such a problem finding it because we did a pretty good job covering it up. So we're just gonna hop onto that. There we go. Can I get the fast jump? No, I can't. Did I mention Nate is basically Spider-Man? He's like really good at climbing. Without the whips thing. Yeah, it's kind of unfortunate, doesn't happen, but doesn't happen until you see four. <laughs> oh, you're so right, though. <laughs> Okay, so another ledge we gotta shimmy on, so we're just gonna kind of jump past half of it. And then I think we can jump right about now. Probably jump earlier. 
Uh, we don't really care about these guys shooting at us. Not only do they have the aim of a stormtrooper, but they're using the guns of like a 12 year old kid, so they don't really do anything. Hey, just gonna kill this kid first guy. Thanks. Hey, did you die yet? Anyways, we're gonna push this beam out of the way. And then we gotta wait for these guys to bust open the door. See, we don't actually really do any of this in the uh, 80%. Because yeah. we can actually clip through this wall right there before it starts burning. This stuff is pretty cool in 1%. That gun. That was interesting. Did you see that gun fly up in the air? Yeah. So sort of now I'm gonna a little bit of play. So yeah, we're just gonna wait for this wall to peel. Die behind it. So we're just gonna. Oh, okay, we're not gonna push our way through it because the game didn't like me. Nice. Fall down here. <coughs> oh yeah, Sully. The AI here just kind of uh, oh. they just kind of do whatever. That's okay. I didn't just die there. It's fine. Good. All I'm saying is. The climbing mechanics in this game are kind of a uh, wonky, just weird because they're actually less buggy than they are in Uncharted 2. I think one, but I don't know about that. Yeah, I think it's not easy one if that you randomly, well, pseudo randomly falling. That's yeah. just not grab for that to twenty chances. Yeah, but they definitely did better with all these handhelds and grabs. So we're just going to skip this big guy, because you know from the first fight scene, he took a long time. So we're just going to walk past him. We're going to walk past this guy, on this ledge, and we're going to walk past that guy. Guess what? We made it to another cutscene point, so we just, they, they just died. Fried with the up fried. You are so right. Let's get our foot stuck. Die, please. Thanks. Sweet. So we're gonna take his ammo. He didn't have much. What the heck? Okay, you're gonna jump a few times. We don't need to worry about all that burning stuff. It's not gonna touch us. For an old man, even though he is still slow, he's pretty good at climbing. I'll give him that. Mm -hmm. And we're just gonna pass by him because he's still slow. Oh, great! This glitch. So there's a glitch there where sometimes if you like don't jump there, you just roll into that. It uh, makes you stuck there. That's no happens to you. That's a lot actually. I don't know why. It could just be my version. For the copy. Yeah. Okay, so now the uh, floor should be coming down any moment now. And we're almost at the end of the chapter. My favorite chapter is probably this There's chapter right here. Or at least one of my favorites. So. Kind of sad. Skip almost all of it in the end of the game. Yeah. I mean, you don't skip that much. Oh, you're talking about the chapter? Yeah. Oh, well, are you talking about Syria? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
It's just Siri, oh my gosh. I love doing that on 80%. But I'm delicious. Oh, it's painful. But it's alright. At least people fair bit of the shot so as well. Um, maybe some. Yep. Okay, I do remember that chapter, I mean, the chateau is chapter, it starts on chapter 7 and then series chapter 9. Oh, it's 8. Ah, there is a chapter 9 in Up this way. Siri, though. You check it out. I'll wait here. Yeah, I really do. remember the chapters here. Come on up, Sully. It's clear. Oh, no, I can't do that. I was definitely not about to do a glitch there. <laughs> So, you know, it's, it's fine. Oh, that's a slow climb. Well. Yeah, one note about the end game timer, it doesn't... Like, it resets when you reset checkpoint to the last checkpoint, so... Oh, really? It's not very accurate. So this is, it does in, in UT1, so... Not accurate, regardless. It yeah. Stops during cutscenes. And pauses. Yep, pretty much. Um. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Come if you're. Oh, yeah. I was wondering what they were talking about. Red splits. Um. Uh, uh, basically. The usual. There's tons of skips in this, and all this does is just count between chapters. Come on, help me with this. The timer, which I'm assuming you just said. So if I finish a chapter in like two minutes because I basically skip all of it, well that means I get a really fast time up there, but not very fast time in a glitchless run. Uh, well I was doing it again. I need to stop this. I need to control myself. Sully, over here. Let's jump on the bucket. Oh, hey. This Lower is all the 180 tournament. Oh, yeah, honestly, the especially on Explorer, the aim in this game there? is just... Right, give me a sec. I'll check it out. And it is pathetic how bad these people are at aiming. The damage is not existing. Yeah. But, of course, on the very hardest difficulty, they, like, never miss. But it's like you're getting shot. shot by you. Sorry. Like they two shot you as well. So. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, and it's Back like you're getting shot by an actual gun, not a pea shooter. Mm -hmm. That was slow. Hey there. But we have glitches, so. UC one is free on the hardest Help me out. Can I make it in an hour, Pika Fighter? I'm sorry, no, I can't. This run this is going to be approximately agents. three hours long. Lillian Cutter could be in real trouble. Where the hell could they be? Cutscene. Okay, now we get to meet up with uh, Chloe and Cutter again. We should be able to find our way into the crypt. Split up. Now the entrance has got to be hidden. Now the gang's back together again. <clears throat> That's the highest tower. Don't do the launch. So we just need to make our way Look across. Out. Oh shit! Bollocks! Get down. Now what? So I was actually going to already have a full run of this game, but then my boss called me in two hours early one day, and uh, I might have had to have time to finish it within like ten minutes of having to be at work, but uh, that's no fun. I don't have this gun. Maybe I do. Anyways, we're gonna drop onto this guy. Just basically sumo slam this guy on the ground. And uh, for this part, we actually have to kill everybody. So that's what we're gonna do. Because you can't do it. Yep. There's actually a certain way we could, uh, we could the gate we could try to see later on. But, uh, we can't do that. For obvious reasons. This will help. So I think that should be everybody. Yep, they're talking, so that means we're good. We're golden. 
So originally we would just kind of walk right through this gate. Yeah, I know. You get a whole three hours of Uncharted 3 French. Isn't that, like, amazing? I think it is. I know, right? So... I'm taking the really interesting thing and taking all the interesting parts out. Yeah, exactly. It's great. So we're just gonna walk past these guys. We're gonna walk past this guy. Oh, no we're not. He's actually gonna catch me, even though that metal is... Yeah. You can be a bit aggro sometimes. Huh. So we didn't die from that, even though that grenade was like literally next to us. We are just yep. perfectly fine. The walls are fine. Oh yeah. Dead. And there we go. Inside. Okay, so now we actually have to shoot these three guys. Working on it. Oh, I'm gonna need a new gun. Bud. No, actually. So this part, we're gonna fight one of these big guys again. But if we do it right, we don't actually have to touch him. See, he's just drop dead. They're way easier to kill if you just shoot them. Up this way. Come on. Mm -hmm. Way faster. Oh yeah. But there's only, uh, pretty sure that's the only guy you can do that way. Yeah. Hey, keep us covered, all right? We don't have guns for the walls. Okay? Yep, yep, yep. I mean, technically you do for the one that was in the chateau, but we don't even need to fight him at all, so. <laughs> yeah. You see? As see you, Hutch. So Got it. We're we'll see you later, right Warren, spot. my dude. Yeah, but they're right spot for wall. Well, and have a good night. The entrance to the crypt somewhere in plain sight. Even though it's only four plus five hours, which is like nine. There. Oh, dang it! Can't you can't leave me, French. Yeah. Look. Same guess it's just me and you. Map. Right next to this. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, back to the game. So, there's some kind of puzzle. It's, it's above, as above, so below. So we're gonna look up and then down in a lot of places. Um. Like uh, we're gonna look at the storage closet and the star. Totally related. I found it. Yeah. If you right, now let's if you look up too it. fast, sometimes the uh, dialogue doesn't actually come out. Yeah, it's pretty great actually. But, I think it only works on the unpatched version because I've never gotten that in the patched version yet. Just a minute. Can't yeah. Be that simple, can it? Well, yeah, I haven't played the patched version for a while. Yeah. Look out! Get down! So essentially. Have it unpatched 100%. Yeah, yeah, you essentially they're like uh, actually a good many of glitches that you can't do in the patched version of this game because they patched it, obviously. Um, so which means if you were to ever run this, you would actually need the, um, the disc version of the game because the disc version, you can actually delete the patch. But they actually something happened between patches and some of the walls. You yeah. have to be able to go through them, you can't anymore. Yeah, pretty much. So, that's the reason. But the glitches still work, so if you have to patch the glitch, you have to try other glitches then. They yep. work. The skips just don't all work. Yeah, exactly. So I think uh, there's that one in the chateau when you skip the, like, the burning floor that comes out from underneath you. You know how you like grab onto that ledge and then you like shimmy inside bounds? I don't think yeah. you can do that on patch either because I tried that yesterday and was not shimmying in bounds. Yeah, the movement of the stick for that one is also like, specific so if you don't know it then it can seem impossible to get back in bounds. Yep. I think they honestly just, they did something that makes the walls more solid when yeah. you're trying to get back out of them. Yeah, we'll find a way but it's, meet up with you. it wasn't intended, I, I don't think. I don't know, I really don't know. Because this game was originally made on the PS3, and actually almost all the glitches that work on the PS3 version, including more, work on this one. So, yeah. I don't, they, even though it was actually made by a completely different studio, this the, the remake, because at the time, Naughty Dog was working on The Last of Us. So 
they had Blue Hole come and make this remaster of yep. all three games. Same. So I don't. Same guys who did the Shadow of the Crosses. You know? yep. I just don't know how they managed to get all the same glitches into the game. They must have been given like a version of the PS3 one and then just. Yeah, so I was just straight part of like, the current PS3 version yep. patch. So that's the reason why you know, the not like the wall sticking thing is byproduct or something else, because yeah. there's really no reason to patch it. This should be about all the guys here. That's actually pretty fast. Those guys spawn everywhere. Huh, come on, I did it this way. That was fast. Anyways, we're gonna look at this as above, so below, so it's a storage closet. <clears throat> Bet you weren't expecting that. Oh. Oh, yeah, that rocket to the face. They like doing that, but yes. on easy difficulty, uh, it doesn't matter. I know oh, by the way, I forgot to mention. Back when I was uh, sniping those people, no, 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 there's actually the cover launch glitch that I did. You can actually skip almost an entire chapter. The one we're doing very shortly, well, including this part right here. So it essentially saves like a good ten minutes of their whole run. So just another break. So the skip in the game. Yep. You don't even actually. It's the only one where we. Hey, hold on. Here's that okay, it's the only one where we don't actually have yeah, a chapter uh, name, even in the splits. At least I don't, because you don't ever get to it. Yeah. 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 Those pillars. That's got to be it. All right. Let's get over there and check it out. Yeah, we'll meet up with Sully and Chloe on the way. They're over there. Shit! They spotted us. Come on, Charlie. We can't stay pinned down here. We gotta move. We gotta get down here. Thing you have to deal with in first place is ammo, routing, and yeah, know, knowing the positions of everyone in every time. Pretty much. I don't. I think there's a certain way these guys spawn, but depending on where you're at, uh, oh, that's interesting. Changes where they move to. I don't think I've ever had that happen. Oh, okay, Cutter, push me off. Gotta meet up with those guys. You two all right? Nice. Yeah, still in one piece anyway. Okay. On. I think we're onto something. And we're gonna jump down here, or we're not, because we're gonna hit an invisible right. wall. You too. Fun. Yeah, I, like the, right, the crypt idle jump animation is that or jumping it's against the wall animation as well. Like yeah, the worst animation. I don't even know. Pain from the beginning. Oh man, it is. So there's one thing about to come up after these people get finished talking. Um, so basically, Cutter's gonna get shot in the neck by a dart from what's his name? Tanner, I think. Yeah. Oh. The the non-main villain, the side one. So, um, and that's that's a theme you're gonna find a lot in this game. There's lots of drugs. 
uh, different kinds, like the uh, the dart. It's, it's a suggestive one for I don't know how. So basically, Cutter's gonna like not like us from now on. Catch he, we gotta move. How? Uh, he had told us. I mean, he told Cutter to like not trust me, and then he also took the notebook, which had some of our important information in it. So yeah. Just let me think. And all we're waiting for right here is for Chloe to tell us that it's in the middle. We're not looking for a gateway in between the two. It is the gateway. Wait. Wait, we've got this all wrong. It isn't yeah, I know, I know, pillars. man. Listen, it's the middle pillar. If there's anything you get from this game, it's that it drugs are bad, book. okay? The pillar of balance okay. between the two extremes. <laughs> Good. Between black and white, water and fire, female and male, the middle way. The middle way. The middle way. Any moment now. There we go. See, so yeah, there's this, and then there's also Nate gets shot by one of the so darts, but it has different stuff in it, I think. Maybe it's the same thing. And then whenever he drinks the water at the end. Yeah. Yeah. I actually like that about this game. Come on. The, the, like, the okay, Charlie, come on, paranormal enemies aren't actually. I was just like they just hallucinations. Yeah, the visuals, they're really cool, especially at the end, when he drinks the water from the fountain. That looks really cool. See chapter nine. You two go on ahead. I'll help Charlie. Go on, buddy. Oh yeah. By the way, see that up in the top right? How it says I've done this chapter and. Two, mi two, uh, uh, two minutes and 17 seconds. Yeah. I really did. It's just... I started way further than I am now. Basically, up here. Mm-hmm. Just go on. I've got him. I see that a lot with the in-game timer in these games. Yeah. Chapter 18 and Uncharted 1 is about 15 seconds. Mm-hmm. Oh, shoot, I gotta hold forwards here all the time. Oh, this is kind of tedious. Did I mention Cutter is, a uh, claustrophobic? Yeah. Or you didn't mention, but he is. So now we're gonna force him over here. And then we're gonna have to fight him for like a few minutes because on, on, one more. that's what the game decided. So a little bit of information about these fights. Usually whenever you fight like important people, like main characters or like the villains, uh, essentially you just get a lot of these QTE things and you keep on hitting them but it doesn't really matter because you're basically waiting for a certain like not really a cutscene point in the fight but it's like a scripted it's a scripted part of the fight where you have to do a certain combination of buttons that never changes um, and so that's what we just gotta keep on doing for Cutter until it finally gives it he's gonna try and choke us and he almost does but uh Chloe almost shoots him so that's why it stops it's Talbot. It's his name, boy. Yeah, I don't know why I can never remember that. <laughs> He's such a good character. Yeah, I know, right? He's like the best villain, like in mm -hmm. the entire series. Although, um, what's his name from the first game? Not Gabriel Roman, but the uh, Spanish uh... guy. He's pretty He's cool. Almost. What's this name again? Uh, so there's choking us. Actually, I do use triangle to skip these cutscenes. I don't know why I said I used start. Maybe I do sometimes. No, no, I'm not turning my back on you just yet. Okay, so yeah, I don't remember if I ever went over this or if you were there for that. But uh, essentially the reason why I have the uh, timer on in the right corner is because um, in order for Uncharted speedruns, or at least for no the third one, to be 
Well, I'm pretty sure it's all along. In order for them to be counted as legal, so it can prevent on, um, uh, I forget what it's called, splicing runs together, you're supposed to have the uh, the in-game timer on as well. But we don't use the in-game timer. It's just uh, there for... Like splicing a lot of time. Yeah. yeah. Yep, it's Navarro. Navarro, yeah, that's, that's, Navarro is pretty cool. Let's get the other ones lit. Didn't even know he was the little until the end. Yep. You Just always thought it was Gabriel Roman. It wasn't. Um, let's see. Lazarevich was kind of annoying from Uncharted 2, but I feel like there was another one that I'm forgetting. I know Eddie Raha wasn't even a villain, really. No, I don't like that. Business Associate. Sure. Or uh, Business SO Lookout. Um, did he become hostile because of the drug or his fear? I think it was both. So essentially, uh, Talbot told him that he shouldn't trust Nate, so when Nate is trying to push him into that tight space, I think it just like pushed him over the edge. I don't know why I didn't start attacking him outright though in the first place. Would have saved me time to run. He wouldn't have attacked him probably. Yeah. If you throw the torch down, okay, I'm gonna throw these to torches over here. Ah, this part it. is kind of annoying. Grab another one and try again. I'm gonna throw this right there. Nice throw. This part's kind of weird. It doesn't like. What Sometimes it like just lets you jump off the edge, with and just die, even though you probably shouldn't have. I don't know. So yeah, in case it wasn't obvious, the spiders are not too fond of uh, fire, or I guess light in general. Did I miss that? Yeah, I did. Wow. There's a spider stuck in that fire right there. <laughs> oh my gosh. We got one more to light, and we get to do the puzzle. So it should be... Oh, no, I missed that. I'm not even aiming in the right place. Hey, what am I doing? Alright, get on the other crank. Let me open it. Let's give it a go. Seems to hovering over things. <laughs> no, right. There we go. I should also add that even if I like mess up on something, like throwing the torch in the wrong spot, well, I don't think it really uses like that much wet. time comparably. Because most of the time is spent like having to do these menial tasks and uh, unskippable cutscenes and whatnot. Okay, one more. So I gotta wait for Cutter, because he's slow. Alright, let's do this again. Now I get to do a puzzle. It's actually really easy. What? It's one of these globes that like spin on water. Spin. It's really cool actually. Rotate the globe, eh? And uh, right now it doesn't look like um a globe of the like earth, but it actually is. Line up with the land masses. So we're just gonna Go spin this. Spin. See, this is Africa right here. It's kind of weirdly shaped, but it is Africa in the Middle East. Let's see if we put this right here. You can see my house from here. Uh, oh my gosh. Come on. There we go. So we have France where we've already been, Syria, which we're at, and then the last one is Yemen. Yep, Fruity will be all day long for a few days. And by a few, I mean five. Come on. So you got a lot of time to watch these, and a, a good bit of these are kind of long because you know glitch just tends to be longer. So, get a lot of time to watch. Here we go. So yeah, that puzzle told us we got to go to Yemen, so that's what we're doing. Yemen. Yeah, <laughs> I got it. I got that pun. Alright, we're looking.
looking and for then, a knight's uh, tomb, actually the, just um, like we found in France. Now, if my hunch is right, they'll be buried with the other head of our amulet. The very last place you go in the game is in the Rubal Kali, that which is? is in Saudi Arabia. Yeah. So that's why Saudi Arabia is also lit up. Yeah, Even brilliant. though we're not there. I, I won't I won't really spoil no, no. the hey. last place, so. What did I tell you? I see the other half. Yeah, I would about that, oh yeah. Uh, Oh, I forgot to mention, yeah, so in all the Uncharted games, the catch is that there's some kind of, like, supernatural phenomenon going in the game, and you don't really find out about it until later in the game. Uh, this one it kind of has it, but not really, because in Uncharted 2, there's these, like, weird, like, gorilla things. I don't even know what they are. Oh, they're, like, yetis. <laughs> I don't know, man, but they're, they're scary. <laughs> It's something and a half. Right. Yeah, Nazi zombies in, in one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, zombie Nazis in the first one. Shit. What's up, Sanjar12? I, I guess that's how you say it. Um, and then what is the one in Uncharted 4? I haven't played that game in a while. <laughs> uh, oh, it's the other. Hold on. I know you get to that like pirate island or something, but I don't remember what. Yeah, there's there isn't any supernatural thing. Really? No, there's got to be. I'll watch this poor guy get killed. Guys, we don't have much time. Go, go. Just use for example, the viewers. Oh yeah, definitely. Thanks very much. I'll take that. So yep, cutscene. I think you can actually beat Solo. Um, when you do the glitch. Wow, well, that's good. Yeah, if you do a glitch, then Chloe's hair doesn't go yeah, into it. Yeah, I was just about to say that too. She loses her hair for some reason. And skip the cutscene. We're just gonna go right here and kill this guy. Oh, oh, for us, the GPS has a scope. So, we're going to need. Oh, I didn't have any grenades. Oh, there's one. Sweet. You don't have any grenades. These guys are kind of hard to fight. You don't actually have to fight on the ground. Yeah, you do. You just try to get the guys inside, and then oh, yeah. Sully says, like they're right behind us, or something like that. We took the point. Oh, so I think they're all these guys in here. Yep. Then I can restart checkpoint. Ah, I'm just gonna kill everybody at this point. Sorry, too late. You're right behind us. Come on, they go faster. Help me with the door. Nice, Fruity Land with the sub. Okay, come on, guys. Man, there's like four of these channels. I don't, I Sorry, don't know Charlie. how many people have the money to subscribe to this, man. Look out! There's more of them. Crap. So actually, there's. I do know the glitch for this section here. Man. It's, 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 it's so easy. I'm just gonna walk past you. I really don't. Okay, yeah. don't. Oh. Just kind of gives you the checkpoint in there. Yeah, so we restart checkpoint there, and all those people are dead. Oh, jeez. We're not so much trouble with people here. Come on, we gotta get the hell out of here. Oh no. Oh no, Fluffy, you don't made a slight goof. Oh shoot. Can I not get my. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Bus. We're taking the bus. Why did I not skip that? Okay, chapter 10. If you're trying to pick up Francis this is just walking trail, simulator 2018 right port. here. Uh, so this is the it's new not as slow comparably in Christmas, but in the 80% this is a bit tedious. 
Yeah. Because there's no skips or glitches. Alright, there. Yep. See For a while. That's where the old city starts, so we need to make our way over there. So we're gonna look at that. Salam. Oh yeah, I was trying to think about what you mean, I was like, but you still have to do okay, the same thing, because there's no glitches in this section, then I was like, oh wait a second, I get right, what you mean now. You can I beat Elena? Yes, it's actually no, not I'm that serious. easy to beat Elena Please, getting to the stairs. I usually just punch a lot here, because if you punch, then Nate salutes. Oh, really? Oh, <laughs> forgot that was a thing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if only I remembered that. That's great. Huh. Okay, it looks like they got the street blocked off. I'll go see what I can do. You two just so actually, at this part, we don't want to beat Elena because the faster she gets to the next place, I think it starts to the next cutscene a little bit faster. So we're gonna let her get in front of us. Or well, we're just not gonna get in her way in general. I don't know if it actually is any faster if you stand in front of her, or as in like if you get in her way. I don't know if you can get in her way at this part, but uh, I just try not to, just in case. Hey, let me through. Jeez, I forget what I do at that part to not get pushed around. I usually just stay on the left of Sully until the guy moves to the door. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Okay, now let's see. Can I get the good fence jump, or am I going to get the bad one? So jump there. There we go. Hey, up here. Get a little bit of a. Uh, Distance if you jump onto that fence. Come on, follow me. Because like the way the right? jumping works yeah, in this game on, is it kind of like snaps through. onto fine. like objects. Don't break anything. So if you're jumping, if you're st yeah, well, if you're walking right. forwards, and there's a like a I don't know anything in front of you that you can jump on, it usually like jumps a little bit further ahead, so you can jump onto that object. It's for like uh, convenience purposes, but it also lets us go a tiny bit faster there. Okay, drop down here. There we go. <laughs> That's kind of a sucker punch, man. Just couldn't leave it alone, could you? Come here. Okay, here comes the fight that I'm not that great at, but it's alright. There's a cool little thing you can do in this fight. Isn't it where you like... Bounce. Spawn kill the guys yeah, drop yeah, down yeah. there. I still have not gotten a chance to be able to do that. I don't remember the setup for it anymore. I really should learn it though. It's not so complicated, just stand behind where they land. And yeah, I see I do that and then it like doesn't seem to do it for me. But uh, yeah, it's probably there. just the timing then. Yeah, it could be that too. Do you press it like right as they're jumping down? Or like after they've landed? Like pretty much exactly when they land. Oh, okay. Keep that in mind. Maybe it'll work this time. Pretty good RNG. Also, I should add, um, these big guys, they always wear, like, clothes to fit the environment they're in. Oh, nope, I missed it. This is way too far away. See, look, this is what happens to me. 
It's still not that much slower, but okay, unless he does that. You can roll to get there faster. Oh uh, yeah, see I was trying to punch, so I thought maybe that would do it. Okay, this is this is beginning to be slow. Oh I could just Hey, what? That dude was dead. But he was standing. I'm confused. What? So there was that guy that, that I before. pushed. Yeah, he like he was standing, but he was dead. So weird. Hey guys, secret entrance to what? What's down what? there? Only one way to find out. I just want to get on the ladder. You expected something different? Yeah, it can be a bit of hassle getting on the ladder. Alright, we're good. Come on down. It's honestly probably a lot of my movement that's the problem. Yeah, it's surprisingly a lot of the time saving this game is just movement. It's just or in the series. This yep. Right Pretty much. Yeah, it's, it's gotta be. So I'm gonna go over here. Doing all the way out here anyway. I'm just kind of wait. on a secret expedition for Queen Elizabeth. Yeah, find the lost city. The puzzle that everyone has messed up once in the, the run. No, At least no, once. In the middle of the huh. Desert. This place just tells you how to find it. Yep. Uh-huh. You know, this place looks familiar. Talking, talking, talking. This talking. See, this, this is another part why I have, uh... This is another reason why I have the captions on, because they often have these audio cues that I'm these not listening to. Drake must have made these notes so I can just see it. It's pretty cryptic, but I think I can work it out. These holes must be important. I guess we just have to find the right one. How are we going to do that? There are a lot of those holes in this room. Well, there's got to be another clue. Look around, we're missing something. So if we keep on pressing this. Yep. There he goes. Must have been left by Drake. It's the Anakian script. I'll try. And now I use the cipher disk because we have a whole bunch of things we got to press in certain times. That's why I need the captions. The so now we just got to go back the there way. and uh, moon. Down find here. the moon. <laughs> I am not hanging around this place till nighttime. I'm pretty sure it's a rip. And this room looks, looks pretty there. identical. Mark up Sir so year old map? It looks like you might have trouble. You wouldn't mind remembering where everything is, but essentially that like block that I was looking so at. I stand here. It's only this in that it. spot so in the room. Go to that and then at that point, Lena, you, just you turn take the one on the far wall there. Over here, I so. got this one. Okay, now just reach in and find the lever. Really? It's not that hard I think to we remember. have to pull them at the same time. Okay, but what if you're wrong? Yeah, I Honestly, this game is pretty easy to get into. You just gotta like get over it being one, two, three. Well, about two and a half hours at least, or at most, you sure that's the for right an 80% run, and it'll run like three hours and maybe ten minutes for an 80%. I mean, yep. Other than that, though, it's pretty fun. Pretty amazing. Definitely. So why the big secret all Especially with the 80%. What did Elizabeth oh, yeah. expect Drake to find? We don't know exactly. The treasure, I guess. Wow. I kind of wish you could skip more. But then again, the way the game's set up, it's not really set up to have yeah. huge skips in the beginning. It's the good thing about UC1, the map is actually like, configured in a way that you know, we, we do some areas in a different way. So yeah, the game's, oh, sort of game's going to tell us in a later hint how we're supposed to do this, but I mean, I already know how to do this. scattered the gears all over the room. Basically, you just gotta have these uh, four dot cogs. Oh, that's not what I'm gonna do. And the uh, cross cogs. And you make sure they're. Um, you have to make sure that a. Uh, what is it called? Alternating. Dot one? Yeah, a dot one doesn't follow another dot one. Uh, there's one right here. And a cross one doesn't follow a cross one, and that the small ones are in the small spots and the big ones are in the big spots. And that's it. But, uh, we have one last, last piece to get. So we go ahead and jump up here. Okay, that's not what I meant to do. Jump right here. There we go. See, now it's trying to tell us dots next to the crosses. 
And they're spinning in opposite directions. Same symbols are on some of these gears. Huh. Symbols seem to be rotating in opposite directions to each other. Okay. The hell's that supposed to mean? And then after this, we're gonna turn on the water. Because someone has not been paying the uh, water bill. There we go. I should press the jump. Oh, here he goes in the ledge. So now we gotta fill up this side with water. This puzzle is a lot simpler. Okay. All the and faster, which is why I saved it for last. Because you don't have to pay nearly as much attention. Sully, throw me your lighter. Optimized right, movement and puzzle solving? Yeah, yeah, I could see that. You do have to yeah. figure out a few more puzzles than in the uh, any percent. Yep. And the Uncharted games are less movies than people give them rights to. Yep. So now we're supposed to line this up to the, so the bodies. Oh, there we go, right in front of it. So it looks like he's stabbing that guy. In order to do that, you actually have to look through the glass thing. The positioning is very, pretty lenient if you look through it. Yeah, yeah. It's a pretty cool puzzle, though, to be honest. It's actually not that hard to make, because in real life you just make a certain spot in the room. So you grab on You were worried. Because that's where yeah. the stairs will be, so it still counts as them being there. Next time we come through these halls, we'll be uh, running from spiders. Okay, so Nate, did Francis Drake ever find that lost city that Doesn't he was that looking fun? for? Don't think so. Seems like he only came sure this does. far, then turned back and headed home. And concealed everything about this little detour. Yeah. That door is totally going to be closed the next time we come here. I mean, it's gonna be not going to be able to open enough for us to get under. Yeah. Don't even worry about it. So I feel like I'm definitely slow in here, but I don't remember how to go faster. Techniques. Certain spots you land make make stagger. Pretty annoying. Yeah, I noticed that like, happens like on the stairs. Yeah. And, like after the stairs. I think we can get through up here. Come on. Why is he still? Mm, usually doesn't stagger there for me. So. Uh, it's pretty random, I think. Actually. Yeah. It's basically this part where you're supposed to be like shooting the spider. There we go. You're supposed to shoot the spiders, but obviously if you just um, shoot the gun as fast as possible, you'll get rid of all the ammo and stuff. You know, so some trigger, whatever you want to call it. So we're just going to really spam the gun. So it looks like we're going to die because we're getting overrun by spiders, but we're going to die. Oh wait, chapter 12, that's the beginning of the ship graveyard, isn't it? Oh yeah, I remember that one now. It's... Uh, it's, uh, it skips the rope right at the beginning. Huh. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, look at these smoke grenades they're throwing. You're not really supposed to be looking up here. And there's actually, um, kind of a soft lock that happens. If you um want to look at the uh, rope, she got messed up already. I missed that guy. There we go. 
So if you look at the last guy that's gonna drop, while he's dropping, the game will not let you proceed, even if you kill everybody here, this guy. I uh, don't really know why, I would have like the ropes just kind of get stuck in their position anymore? and the smoke never clears so you can never find a way out. continue on with the and game. How are we gonna do that? Over here, yeah, <laughs> so we never offers you a boost. Yep, yep, that's the problem. It's kind of lame actually. Yeah. It would be really helpful Careful, if you kid. could just shoot him. But they always land, land in the same spots, so it's not a big deal. Got it. I don't even really have their spots memorized. Because <laughs> it's usually just so easy, you don't even have to memorize it. Yeah, take them out on the street. Yeah. Much as I'd like to. Yeah, I don't think people in Yemen would really okay. like if you just walked out with sawed-off shotguns. Okay, so here's one of the drug trips more, that Nate's gonna have. Coming up very soon. All right, up here. This way. There we go. <clears throat> so essentially, you get hit with another blow dart, just like Cutter did. And uh, this is what happens. So we can only imagine this is what Cutter was seeing. Because in the cutscene after this, which we don't get to see because we skip it, um, essentially. The uh, main don't, villain, don't she learns that uh, she learns a whole bunch of things from you. I don't even remember what all she learns from you. I guess because no, no, no. Nate thinks the he's not telling them anything, but he actually is. Maybe I don't know. This part of the game is very vague. Relax. Yeah, drugs are—they're they're not cool, especially when you're not the one taking it. Trust me, people are giving it to you without your consent. It's kind of a they're not nice. Sully? Sully's, Sully's not here, track. So now we just have to wait for Talbot to tell us uh, where is it. And then we can just kind of do whatever. Trust us. Because that's the uh, trigger for the next cutscene to start. Follow me. This screen to fade out. No, I won't go. Don't resist. And he goes now. Yeah, I guess this is the part where he's interrogating him. I don't know. Don't let, don't let, don't let. Yeah. I won't take him out of jail. It's just, this is trippy, man. Oh, there it is. Okay. Where is it? We just kind of sit here and look. No. Give them to us. I don't know. And we're gonna end up on a ship because we were sold to pirates. I guess they were supposed to kill Nate, but they never did. I don't know. Oh, wait, I forget. It's the chase, duh. I always forget about the chase. Ugh. That, so that's why this chapter is 17 minutes long. Yep. <laughs> it's because of this. I'm not really sure if that's the fastest way, but it seems pretty fast, so I don't know. Jump on that car. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure what the fastest way is. I just try to do as a direct route as I can. Yeah, I don't know, it's kind of weird because sometimes the direct route isn't always the fastest because right. uh, you get like some kind of speed boost from the game. Whenever you go certain directions, it's weird. Yeah. Let's see if I can get a like, good jump here. You get a little bit higher. Oh, no. Well, I don't know if there is a good jump there. It could be all the same. Yeah. It's always like the bottom left. That's just my thing. Yeah, I guess so. Continue the chase. Oh, oh, 
almost got in front of him that time. Oh, man. Can you get in front of him? I forget. Um, I think so. For a little bit. Yeah. See, so yeah, whenever that lattice falls, it depends on what location you're at. Whenever it falls, it makes you stagger. But we don't want that. So we just don't get it. Easy. Easy game, easy life. Easy every time. Yep. This, this chase is uh, it's pretty relaxed. Even though it's supposed to be a chase, it's actually like one of the easiest things in the run. To like not mess up for the most part. I don't know if got that stagger on that box there. Surprise, asshole! Funny, I say it's easy and then I'm like, oh, I'm messing up now. Yep. You can actually jump really early on this and they just kind of like teleports to the fence. It's kind of funny. Um, and then also Talbot likes to teleport a lot during this fight. You see him now, right where he is? Look, now he's all the way up there. How did he get up there? I don't know. Probably never know. We go through here. And then I guess this side is the fastest. Hmm. I don't know. I usually do the other one, but I didn't really know that side existed. <laughs> yeah, I didn't for a while too. I think I saw like air just run out and I was like, oh, okay. I'd watch this. Don't worry, slow, it's almost over. Yep. There he is. You lost me, didn't you? And the zip line coming up, you can actually zip like hmm. inside of top it. Come on, Talbot, this is getting old. If you do the platform right. Oh really? Huh. Is it where you jump on the sign? Yeah. Ah, uh, I try to wait because I, I don't actually remember if it like pushes me off sometimes, so. I just do that. It's still pretty fast though. Oh jeez, I need to look at the prompts. Uh, punch him. So, like, yeah, if you see me just like punching the air, it's because a lot of the times it'll snap Drake's fists onto their face, so <laughs> you don't actually have to move most of the time. Yep, well, they totally did not teleport right there. Definitely not. Yep. And dead. Now you're on the boat. There we go. Ta da! No glitch unless for a really long chase, I know, right? Don't want to tell us what we want to know, huh? See, most of these, honestly, a lot of the glitches that I've <laughs> that have happened, not only do they not save time, but I'm not even trying to do them. The game just isn't the most amazingly. Well, okay, I should say it is pretty optimized and well made, but like it's not really made for you to try and go this fast most of the time. So yeah. it just kind of like does weird things. It's yeah, these games generally work pretty well if you play like how the developers expect you to play. Yeah, which is pretty good because they know uh, what they're trying to do. Yeah. So far, this I think it's a fairly fast fight, although it seems to be getting slower. Yeah, these fights are the worst bit of RNG in the run. Yeah, pretty much. Hey, there's another guy here. Oh, I was waiting too long. Man. Wow. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> yeah, we're just waiting for that guy. 
There he is. Oh heck yeah. See if you wanna like never see me play this ever again. You should go follow that channel. <laughs> You want an, an annual stream of UC3? Yeah, yeah, one stream. Fall of play. And stay down. I've done at least like four streams, including this one this month. That's that's good for me. It's more than I have. Ah, oh, shoot. Yeah, I know. <laughs> what game are we even playing? <laughs> Oh, I hate doing this part on the... Oh my gosh. So the thing rocking like messes you up. Oh man, this sucks. Cause I don't actually want to skip, to skip this rope. I don't know it either. So I just do the rope. And then if you just do it right, grab onto that ledge. There we go. Alright, now we're talking. Empty. Of course it's empty. Uh, this is a lot of button mashing, this, honestly. Yeah. I've done so much triangle mashing and X mashing, and I, like, don't even notice it anymore. <laughs> it's automatic. The only reason why I'm noticing is because, like, I'm hearing it, and I'm not really even listening to anything else. Okay, so I'm gonna do this the safe way, and actually not just jump straight off, because I suck at this. Come on, Nate, there we go. No, you know what? I knew I shouldn't have. I knew it wasn't gonna work. I suck at this jump really badly. So I just do it the casual way. Okay, making progress. What the that was an interesting camera. Great A camera angles here. Top notch cinematography. <laughs> Elena's just like in good. the background, just kind of flying along. <laughs> Sometimes this first guy doesn't spawn. But yeah, actually, I was gonna say that. I've never had that happen until like a few days ago. I don't know why though. Doesn't really matter because we don't talk to him yep. at all with our guns. Funny thing, we can actually really use the restart checkpoint here. Um, so basically, there's a whole bunch of guys that have spawned right now, as you can see. And there's going to be more that spawn once we get up here. So there's like tons of people shooting at every angle. If you get out of this wire, we press restart checkpoint. Everyone's gone. This doesn't look too dangerous. That's that's a really fancy one, I think. Yep, one of the few things that only any percent that we can do. Oh no, Christmas. not again! Oh, oh no! I hate when that happens. I can't believe they didn't patch that out. I was really hoping they would. Yeah. You can make it work if you hold the stick at the right angle and mash. Yeah, I thought I remember something about that. But I've never done that. Hey, you're gonna like... Okay. It's not gonna let me jump the way I usually jump. Just to the right. Okay, so because we can't glitch over to the next area, we actually have to kill everybody here. That one is pretty cool. Which is pretty cool, so... Yeah, it is. Because there's, there's actually a death barrier right next to where you launch. So if you were to leave this arena early and do the climbing as intended, you would just die. See if I can get that uh, interesting ladder skip. 
Because I got that one time before. Okay, we're going to jump to here. There's not really much to explain in this section of the game, to be honest, because it's basically just things you've already done. There's not much story. Yeah. There's a bit of wonky platforming later on the on the rope. Yeah. Okay. But get one shot pretty this. much the only thing interesting here. Well, unless you get the platforming here, super smooth. Yeah. Oh shoot! I should have rolled. I keep on forgetting to do that. You just roll off there. No, nope. get it. I don't know how you get it. No, I don't remember. Sometimes if you just keep on pressing X there, you can jump, you can skip like four of those little ladders. Okay, like three. It's way faster. Yeah, just go from the, like the third one to the shimmy pick. Yep. It shouldn't hurt. Yep. That's the uh, scientific one. Right. How great, I love when this guy does this. That never happens to me. Really? No. It's never. Be all the time now. Could be a patch. Maybe. Because I don't remember. That doesn't. That doesn't usually happen to me either until like since I started streaming again a little bit. So could be that. Well, if I don't remember to jump up while climbing. This dude is like seriously way too good at climbing. Gonna shoot across there. Because otherwise it slows you down a little bit. Nearly there. Shoot him. This is the easiest difficulty. Oh yeah, this is explore. Doing this on the uh, normal difficulty would just be way too long. Nice. It's been really shit. I mean, I guess yeah. it wouldn't be that much longer. It'd just be annoying. Yeah, and they added this difficulty in with the PS4 releases. Oh, did they? I didn't even notice that. Yeah, Explorer and Brutal shit. came in PS4. Oh. Interesting. So PS3 runs. That's why PS3 is like that's one of the reasons PS3 is used is always in a different category. Wait. Huh. I never knew that. From one, two, and three. Where are you headed? I honestly wanted to want to try Uncharted Three on the that PS3 because be I have the game. Something. It's just my PS3 doesn't read discs Maybe anymore. That ship. So it makes it kind of hard to run the game. Yeah. Yeah, no problem, dude. Okay, sweet. Coming on two hours now. I should have jumped up there. That was faster, I think. Ah, oh, great. I hate when this guy's up here. It's slow. Yeah, honestly, Nate can just, like, take any beating. No problem. It doesn't matter what it is. So we're gonna do a thing where we just kinda, like, sit here and shoot and like, pass this guy. Not bad. Yeah, <laughs> you're supposed to, you're just supposed to, like, just, like, stealth. Yeah. And you're supposed to. I can notice you, but he's scripted, so we just run past him. Yep. Um, it's actually quieter if we can do this uh, the stealthy way, so that's what we're gonna try. It's quieter and faster. Yeah, is that, that's what I meant to say. <laughs> so we're gonna wait for this guy to go into there. It's 
See, I know, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so I think that guy over there is going to still see me. There's a guy like right over there or something. Or, no, actually, it might be scripted for them. Just... No, I don't know. Sometimes I get to this part and people start shooting me out of nowhere. It's weird. So basically, if there's a, if there's anybody left to still shoot you whenever you start pulling that crank, um, it like ruins Nate's animation, and so he just stops pulling the crank, and uh, you need that to continue forward. So it's bad. Oh yes, I got a good uh, snap-on jump. Don't leave without me, boys. If you don't grab the ledge before, I mean, a little bit to the left, and Nate just refuses to climb up. For some reason. Kind of annoying. Okay, let's go and jump on this ship. You boys leave me behind! And if you jump late, you just jump right onto it so they've got any ledges. We get tons of ammo here. I'm gonna wait for somebody to spawn. Here we go. Let's call the door. Get them. Back down. And we're gonna see. Stop running. Wait, everybody, you wanna pop your head out? Too much. Oh, there we go. So for this part, we actually have to kill all these guys in this boat before we can uh, get to the next one. So we gotta go the until they totally stop spawning. I'm actually gonna grab this mag five here. So now we wanna shoot these guys. Which, you know, we think how seven is that thing. Makes sense. But it's uh, zoomed in slightly. Yeah, usually I just want to kill these guys as fast as possible. And these guys are just going to stand there and stand in the way. So originally they start like jumping on the rope to get on the ship, but uh, they're kind of all dead. So we're just waiting. This is weird though, there's usually more people to shoot. That might be it. Yeah, I, I, when you kill them pretty fast, something weird happens. I think it like skips another wave or something. Kill these guys real quick. Kill guys in these ships as well. Exact same thing as we did in that ship. So, aiming RPGs in this game is actually like, really hard because the shots don't really travel in like water like that. Sometimes it goes through, but sometimes it doesn't. It's, it's, it's a lot harder than it looks, to be honest. It seems like that shot just went way below what it should have done. It's, it's just wonky physics. That's because the, the RPG stays in like the the same kidding. position, but the boats are moving so much because of the waves. Oh, this is painful. And then the waves moving throw you off. Oh my gosh. If it looks like he's just straight up missing the shots, but this is harder than it looks. I don't think I've ever gotten that bad of an RPG at that point. Dang. Yeah, control you it sometimes. Yeah, that's not what I wanted. No, 
I'm just gonna do this thing again. There are some pretty cool skips in this chapter. If you want to see. Oh, that. Okay. I'm very disappointed in myself now. Oh, man. That's, that's hard to watch. Whew. Jump way too far to the right, and that's where the voice is trying to get closer to the ladder. So you gotta move a little bit before it'll actually jump on ship. Kind of annoying, but that's what you gotta do. This guy. We're actually gonna grab this, uh, this gun here. Oh, no, we're not. He's gonna get the roll, but he grabbed everything but the Cal 7. Okay. Let's take a look. <laughs> Best to roll into those guns and you won't get an animation. Yep. Let's pick them all up and we'll roll. I'm gonna wait here because watch what this is about to happen. There we go. Just, just slapped by a box. Oh, here goes his gun. Okay, we should be able to turn most of these guys down. If not all of them, so we can get close. Sweet. That was pretty fast, actually. There's actually a glitch at this part where you can um, clip through the wall by jumping and using photo mode, um, which lets you go straight through the wall when the ship rocks. It's kind of interesting. You can, you can bring the camera to like a, a weird place and it deloads the level a bit. Yep. Just enough for you to reach through the wall. And it crashes the game on, on flames. System for some reason. Yeah, so I can't do it anyways. Okay. I should start spawning up here. Where is it? This guy's hiding. So is this guy. This fight scene is really annoying. There's lots of little places they can hide. Oh, jeez, I'm not trying. You think we get to skip this in 10%? Oh, yeah, no, it's so much fun. Just go through a window. Yep, I'm actually uh, close to dying there twice. And then at this point, there's actually one last guy that refuses to spawn for a while because you're supposed to take a lot longer to kill all those guys. It's gonna come up like right there. I think it's one of the uh, juggernaut looking guys. Yep, there he is. Long time. Okay, so now there's gonna be people that are gonna come right through here. If we time this just right, we can throw a grenade. I usually base it on the, whatever they say, get in there. So we're going to throw a grenade right there, and as soon as they open the door, they're already dead. Okay, I was out of actually, I'm out of ammo in this gun. Stop this, please, no. This ruined my time save. Not like this. I know, right? Gotta get down to the hole. I threw the grenade actually a little bit too early, so I didn't kill the last guy. Fighting speed. Just here. Funny exploit coming up. And right as we get to this little edge right here, we can restart checkpoint. And if we didn't, if, if we didn't do that, we wouldn't be able to jump straight down there and survive. I don't know why it does that, but that's what the game allows you to do. For some reason, if you jump from the attack point to spawn, then you won't die. Yeah. We're 
second. What the? You didn't die? Oh my gosh. That's gonna cost me time. I'm gonna show him. I don't need this. They're all dead. Sips. The ship is gonna start sinking. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so cool. I gotta jump onto this car. If you hold up, it doesn't do anything. Because I don't remember what I do to not stagger on that car. Jump boxes. All pretty self-explanatory. Yep. <clears throat> um, also, I haven't actually mentioned this at all, but the game to try to be a little bit more user-friendly, you see like, ledges or something that are like yellow and metal. That means it's an object you can grab and hold on to. And so it tries to stick with like the colors like just point, paint everything yellow if it's uh, grabbable. Obviously this doesn't work in like the desert village and like other places like Yemen or whatever. But for like this ship, they can just paint yellow on anything they want you to see. It's like with the other section they use white. Yeah. yeah. Basically, just anything to make it stand out. Yep. Oh, no. I don't know. Why. It's actually just a door that really good to stand on. But I don't think it's a good way to do this. So, we're gonna jump here so we miss that stagger. We're going to do the exact same thing in this room, but to like a bookshelf. Mm -hmm. a big bookshelf. Mm -hmm. It's an upside down <gasps> bed frame. Which one of those bookshelves? Yeah, it's. Oh. Might actually be a bed, now that I'm thinking of it. It would make more sense. Okay, so basically, yep, yeah, I knew that would happen. So if you don't jump at the right time here, you actually get stuck into that, or you get pushed onto that. So we're just trying to skip past some of this shimmying, and I did it terribly, but it's all right. I demonstrated what I was trying to demonstrate. Yep. Yep. It's already inaccurate. We're playing that. Jump on the glass. Oh, no. Okay. okay. Get much worse oh, and they also use like ropes in red, like that. Oh, At least in the section. That's how you can jump on it. Can. Yeah, I think this is the only rope that's colored. There was two. Mm -hmm. The one uh, you jumped on just a little bit earlier. They were jumping in the hallways. Right. Yep. Usually the ropes are just. Ropes. The age. Yeah. The rope color. Yep. Let me get out of this aquarium. <sighs> See you in hell, happy bee. See you in hell, happy bad word. <laughs> This part is actually very really lovely for the ship, but I hate the shipyard. It's kind yeah. of confusing. Because the cruise ship is really cool. Because you can do all those like, jumps and stuff. Um, and then obviously, you're really jumping out of a 
ship. It's, just, it's pretty cool too. But uh, yeah, I could go to the airport. The airport has a really fun skip that we can't do. We skip basically the entire airport. Hey Nate, over here. Um, it's actually really I, funny to watch too. Right, good call. Here, help me with I don't this. remember at all what this chapter looks like. <laughs> yep. How much longer do I think my run has? Um, there are 22 chapters in all, and we are on 16 now. But I think the end of the game is the the light, later half. Okay, so the, actually the, the true middle of the run is actually pretty much in chapter 12. Or like actually 11, I mean. So we're a good bit past halfway. Here's the checkpoint here to get Elena in here faster. See, now she's over here. Teleporting. Um, I want to say this should finish around probably 310. 315, maybe. So, yeah, we'll have plenty of time. I'll definitely tell you when we're getting uh, closer to finishing the run because at this point it's a little bit hard to tell. Keep going. Yep. Did you Once we're in the city. Oh, that's way too early. I should have learned that. This section is weird because the jump, you actually have to like do the um, in midair jump to uh, get it usually. Yeah, see I wasn't in midair so it didn't give me it. This part is really frustrating. I don't know why I have so much trouble on it. Yeah, I usually just push it a bit further. Yeah. Rather than failing on it. Like, because it's really. It's very disconcerting when you fail it over and over again. See, there we go. Yeah, I just didn't push it far enough. That was my fault. I love getting that jump. So, you're supposed to jump to the left there. That's why the camera does that weird thing. But you can actually just jump straight up there to the left. Little known fact. Hold on a minute. So here's where we would do that. Actually, we would have already done the glitch with But we actually have to go here no, and kill these guys. Get just right here. So basically, the rest of this chapter doesn't exist in 90%. Yep. Everything I'm doing right now is not in any percent. Until we reach the plane. Okay, we actually have to walk over here for Elena to walk in here. It's really annoying. Thanks. Let's forget about that. These guys. These. Come from? Thought there was only six. You okay? Yeah, you. Now I have to go back here. Same thing. Yeah, I think we can do the same thing. And they're going to lose grip of it. So what we're doing right now, why are we at an airport, you may ask? Essentially, back in the last place we were at, the boatyard, um, we landed on shore of uh, something like that. And uh, I think we're supposed to be, we found out there's a location we're going. Up here. I guess it's the Rubal Kali Desert. Cause that's where we end up going next, but that's not where we're... We don't get there in the end I mean, the story, according to the story. I'll tell you what I mean by that in a little bit. Thanks. And the bad guys have... Nate's journal and stuff. The ring. And the cipher. Which is what he needs to solve puzzles.
Where's the last thing? Aha. Uh -huh. right, there we me. go. Now that he says that, we can just go on. I might have already shot the guy with the grenade launcher, but I'm pretty sure there's one that spawns there. We're almost there. It's just over that roof. So yeah. we're going to try and get the... Uh, we're going to jump as far down the ladder as possible, because if you land on the ground from here, you die. But if you land further on the ladder, you just it's just faster. But obviously, if I do the, like what I just did and die, it's not much faster, is it? Come on. Decided to do it safe that time. <laughs> yep, one thing to note is that it's always faster to restart checkpoint when you die. Yep, Forces him out of his junk animation to explode in the I should note, we have our silence and pistol again. Which, uh, it's a one hit kill, but you don't get any ammo for it, so. Not very useful. There's only like two spots in the game where you get it, anyway, so. You get it many times in the morning, but it's kind of See, here's one of the spots that's actually faster to let Nate run than it is to shoot. So we don't die. Hey! Hey, Jabu, right? Yeah. Let's see if that's good. Let's get me up to the landing gear! Sometimes if you're right, you get Nate to just run. There he goes. Chance hands. So we're just waiting until we can jump on the land again. Because we're smart. Because being in the cargo area and the plane is always a good thing. It's always a good place to be. Mm -hmm. Nice and cozy and warm. Yep, it'll be definitely warm. Tons of oxygen in too. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I think this plane ends up just like. Uh, Flying low. Flying low. So, yeah. I guess that's why I survived. Okay. There we go. I actually need to restart checkpoint here, but I was missing someone. Hey dog, you wanna like not? Thanks! Oh my dog. You said a bad word. What? I said dog. <laughs> Damn, sorry. You should be. Yeah. Be very sorry. So yeah, we can actually punch him there. There's no point. <laughs> I don't know why Nate didn't just go for the gun in the first place. Because yeah. he had it. So we don't actually have to finish this guy off, but we have to fight him for a little bit. You can't finish him off, actually. Well, you, you kind of do. In a way. Well, well, you can't lock him out with the punch. Yeah, I don't... Everything that happens after this never would have happened if he would have just pushed him off the yeah. plane or something. I mean, he could have like taken right. control of the airplane and like, actually landed it, but no, he's mm -hmm. gonna do this. And then I should also add, literally everything in this plane is connected by a ca or via cable. For what yep. reason, I don't know. <laughs> One parachute. It's just, it doesn't make any sense. You really don't really want to be in the plane, so just jump out. Yeah, oh yeah, that's a thing. You can fight against it and try to keep on going, but it pushes you out anyway, so just walk out. And then how much this, these trucks fall is purely based on how far you get of it. So once you get to that point every time, push the truck further down to make it look like you're going to fall off. 
So now here's where everything starts falling out. And there's actually some uh, strat here. I guess you can call it a strat here that you do. So in this plane, um, it keeps on rocking back and forth. So we're just gonna sit right behind these, this like set of barrels here, and you'll never get killed by these moving crates because they can kill you from basically any other spot in the plane, pretty much. So mm -hmm. stay in the if you get sandwiched, then you die. Yep. And having to research checkpoint at this spot is really not fortunate because you actually lose a lot of time. Yep. So we're just gonna sit down here. So right now I'm actually fighting the plane. It wants me to go off, but I don't want to. But it makes it This is actually really annoying right here. I didn't even realize this one time. But if you don't actually try to grab this um, piece of cargo, you won't get it. I always just nope. thought it was kind of guaranteed. <laughs> yeah, it happens to me too. Kill the one. <laughs> You're really dumb. I just miss a box. That's pretty funny, actually. It's a bad way it's to die. Like... Just not paying attention, and then suddenly you see from the corner of my eye just Nate completely missing the box. <laughs> and you're just like, oh no. What? Is that exactly, impossible? Nate. Oh no. Restart checkpoint, and we're back on the ground. You know, I don't really know how early you can restart checkpoint. I usually just wait until I see the words chapter 17 and then do it. Not the most exciting bit of the game. Yeah. There's actually a bit of movement tech here. Yep, so if you hold up on the D-pad here, it's to get the cinematic view, you actually move like quite a bit faster, and you don't stagger at certain spots, and also you can moonwalk, so like who wouldn't want to do it? Although it's not mm. the most like... It's kind of awkward to do, because I'm using both sticks to move the camera, move Nate, and then I'm also using my index finger to hold the D-pad down. But, you know, it's yep. worth it. Dude, look at this. He can dance. It's actually harder than it sounds to clock rip the D-pad. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's definitely not fun. Because I usually clock rip like, the face buttons on the right side, but... Yeah. The D-pad is stiffer. So right here, I think it's also faster to do the D-pad, but at some point, we're going to be able to get gun speed, since we still have this Cal 7 on our back. Uh, it's usually about when the sand starts turning from these dunes to, like, the uh, flat bit. Let's just go a lot faster. Uh, as, as soon as he says, uh, like, the well, it's a well. Oh, that's a good, that's a good thing to think of. Can I hear you actually have to really mash triangle? Otherwise, if you don't, it'll like drop it. Okay. That's really not fun. Not. And this lasts a really long time. Okay. So, this is actually a really slow part of the game. It's a lot of just walking around in the desert. Shit. And it would honestly save like 30 minutes if you just didn't have to do this whole section. But it looks really cool, so me. it's whatever. Mm hmm. The steps of the sands were really impressive at the time. Yep. You can just kind of walk off in whatever direction you want to. So now here, he's going to mention something about the stars. And you have to press the D-pad at this point. It also looks funny whenever he's doing this, having tremors. Anyways, we can just keep on walking now. Oh, come on, Nate. This game actually does really look nice. Doesn't yep. really do it justice. Shit. Yeah, there's there's no cactus cacti here, Sloan, because this is uh, Saudi Arabia, not Mexico. Sorry to burst your bubble here. <laughs> I mean, maybe there are some cactus or cacti in Saudi Arabia, but. 
Might be some later, like in the ghost town, I don't remember. Yep. So fun this fact about this part, whenever I got gun speed earlier to like keep on running to that well, if you use all of your ammo there, which I don't know why I would, I did one time, um, you actually don't have your gun at this part, so you can't get um, aiming speed, because we can't get gun speed here, but we can get aiming speed. And it's much faster because you don't stagger at all. So that's why we're getting so close to this. Originally, you wouldn't be able to even get anywhere near this water. Quote unquote water. Well, you know, broken images. The world where the sun beats. It's an hallucination. The tree gives no shelter. The cricket gives no relief. And the dry stone. To make the sides to like. Do his thing. There we go. Damn it, I've been going in circles. <clears throat> Shit! If you hold up the D-pad here, let me, after this animation, he does some funny things. Oh, and yeah, why they didn't just cut the cable? I mean, it's kind of a live cable. Like, he was kind of being pulled. Anyways, so we lose the gun here. I don't know why, but he just does. So we just have to use a... Come in. Cinematic speed. There's too many different speeds. I don't even know if it really makes you go faster because it's kind of. He actually does make you go faster. You still have to listen to uh, what's her name's monologue. Marlo. Yep, Marlo. That's it. Why can I not remember any names today? Because <laughs> the rhythms are so good. Yeah. This part, it's just another walking section. I don't think it literally matters at all which way you go. But I just keep on walking forwards just because. I think it's like a certain radius. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. You just gotta get far enough outside of it. Yep. And because you're holding the D-pad, you're actually getting to places you're not really supposed to get. See, the camera just kind of cuts off. Wow, okay then. If I wanted to do that, I totally would slow. Fight me. I mean, if I could do that, I would. This feels like a cutscene, but it's not. Hey. I really wanted to skip that. Hey. Yep, there's nothing to skip here. It's just eight minutes of nothing. Unfortunately. Yeah, th this isn't even any faster in any percent. We're literally doing the exact same thing as we would do in any percent. Because none of this is glitches, it's just slight exploits. So now we're gonna walk. <laughs> wow. Okay, then slow, why don't you drive over to my house and we'll fight. We're we can eight. drive over to my house. <laughs> through the ocean. Yeah, dude. So this is a weird part. I actually didn't get the fastest spot to go. So basically, whenever you're running up those dunes, um, or whenever you're walking them up slowly, it interrupts you during the cinematic speed to like stagger um, but if you go over there a little bit to the left of the wheelbarrow you get through it a little bit faster even if you're like literally standing on top of it it's still faster than going to the right like I did so we're gonna hold it again and it's gonna let us occasionally do it that's why he like twitches sometimes but it's still faster Who's doing like that? There's been a there we go there we go. <laughs> Easy. Oh, shit. It's a ghost. <clears throat> I think it's like... When can we restart checkpoint again? As he falls. 
Oh, okay. I did it late then. It's pretty much like immediately as she starts falling, as the camera angle changes. Uh, okay, got it. With with these games, the checkpoints are at least at least with one, two, and three, the checkpoints are tied to camera changes a lot of the time. Yeah, actually, yeah, you're right. So that's a good indicator. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. What am I doing? Look how you can just like fall straight through there. Damn. Oh, and then another annoying part. After this, you actually have to hold up for Nate to get up. Even though it looks like it's just cinematic. It's like right now I'm not controlling him, but now I'm actually telling him to move. It's weird. Yeah. And the camera's gonna change to completely behind us. So we hold up. There's actually some cool glitches you can do in this area. Um, literally in this next room. I guess you could call it a room. Um, one of them actually helps you save a, a, like a minute, maybe. Maybe a little bit less. And then uh, there's actually some that let you get like super far out of bounds, but they don't actually save any time. What the hell are Marlos doing here? Okay, that was slow. Don't give me the grenade one, because then I don't even get a gun. Oh, I'm pretty sure I have to kill everybody here. What this about? I don't know, because you skipped this fight in the end percent. Yeah, I think the bolt, even though that hole was... I was shooting perfectly through that hole. Didn't count. The hole's not real good. It's a fake hole. Hmm. There we go. We kill all them, we just walk right past. You can see that's actually an a uh, pretty intuitive way of teaching you about this mechanic of shooting the pillars out. So you see the enemy do it and then you're like, oh, I'll just do it to him. He's got to be a way out of here. Watch out! I don't think I have to ridiculous. This is getting ridiculous. In the next fight, you have to uh, like pick up grenades. Yep. Oh, you don't have to. It's, it's a bit faster to pick up grenades for the next fight after that one. Yep. Because you know those uh, pillars that we were just uh, those pillars we just the pillar we just shot is gonna be useful for us. Why did I just use a grenade? <laughs> Smart. Yeah, I like to end this fight with three grenades. Yeah, I could have if I hadn't just thrown it. There should be at least four grenades on the ground. Yep. Uh, it shouldn't. I mean, it, it won't be too hard to kill it with two grenades, though. It's just if you have one or less that it's really not. Good. Yep. Don't worry, you get an RPG in a little bit. Yeah, I don't want the RPG right now. I prefer the M9. So see this. Oh, jeez. See that truck right there? In order to get past that gate, we gotta kill these pillars here. That actually hit both There we go. Walk over here. Pick up that. Shoot that door. That was like really fast. I don't know if you noticed that, but you couldn't even see that RPG, and I had already picked it up. Holy crap! <laughs> I 
I've never done that before. Okay, so here's a really weird part. So these people are right up here. You literally physically cannot kill everybody. Even on explorer difficulty, these guys will take like 20 headshots without dying. So you literally don't have enough ammo or time to kill everybody here. This is it. Can't do this. Yeah, it's not safe to at all, but <laughs> it's just fun to see how many people you can kill. Yeah. You can like take a quick pee break here if you're quick. English, I speak English. Because this no, no, first no, section no. on the horse is also well, automatic. Yep. <laughs> if you literally do nothing, so we're not actually I'm driving these horses. That's what you do to horses, you drive them. Yeah. Yeah, that is kind of fast. That, that RPG pickup is like godly. Oh, he just kind of pinged off that wall. That was pretty funny. Oh, and they see all these guys here, they just kind of die. I won't even shock them, they just die. Only enemy here is the door. Okay, he doesn't actually die, but he just does that thing, so he dies. I'm not gonna pick up his RPG, but he just so happens to be hanging down below us. I'm just gonna bank him. There we go. I'm gonna shift the rest of our RPGs off. Rop is in here. Leaves. I'm sorry, Rob. This is a Mac. Oh, that was interesting. I love that glitch. Chapter 20. This means we have three chapters in all to do until the game's done. Oh, I see you, Robbie. Oh, it's you see three. Wow, okay. Okay. I see how it is. See, I don't know why that color glitch happens, but it could just be my copy of the game or my PS4, but like. Oh, it happens to me as well. Oh, okay. I think it's just because you skip cutscene quick. Yeah, it could be. Might be just be loading in the shaders. Mac huh. uh, <laughs> being better than Uncharted 3? <laughs> are you... Are you sane, Ronnie? Ha. Mac is a glitch in the system. It should never have been made. There actually weren't any glitches in Mac until like yesterday or something. Oh, we, really? we are we are starting to implement like the glitches oh, as we cool. speak. Yeah. You guys got the time down any? Um, nice. We haven't really tried it, but it's gonna be substantial. Sounds pretty neat. Yeah. Because I, I I thought I remember there not being any glitches last time I talked to you guys. And now you guys are like oh the glitches and I'm like what? But yeah, there was actually a cool glitch we could have done earlier where you literally just walk off the trail using the horse um, into midair. Yeah. It's really neat. But you can only do it, I'm pretty sure it's, yeah, you can only do it on the unpatched version. Yep. Not to mention we're doing a glitch this run. So we can actually just walk back to the at this point. I think. Yeah. Yeah. And this, the horse glitch is like the hardest to skip in the game, so. Yep. I used to have it down but consistently. Yeah, but the good thing about it is that if you fail it, then you can lose any time. Yeah, well... Technically. Technically you don't lose any time, but realistically you do. Yeah. Because every team has the best runs, so you can't do it when you behind it. So you got it. This part is about a lot of good shooting guys. We're going to try and hit these guys with the RPGs again. That trap is just the hardest. Not up on this. I'm really gonna miss that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. I think, I think Mac might be like the easiest game to optimize. Uh, let's do it. Really? 
my PB, like, it's not on the leaderboards, but it's five seconds slower than the record. And other than one flip where I got the car, uh, I was 0 0.4 seconds behind my solo fest. Yeah. So we're just gonna look behind us because it doesn't matter what we're looking at. Yeah. Like there's nothing really interesting going on here. So I'm talking about Mac. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna wait for Celine to keep on driving. I'm gonna go and see if we can snipe this guy, because this is actually the section where we actually need these guys to move on. So we're gonna go ahead and jump to our horse now. Oh, we shot both of them. Since he's already dead, we can just walk right past. So if we don't kill him before we get up to them, they actually, uh, it actually makes us just slow down. That guy. There we go. That's Are you gonna say the thing? On par with. Oh no. I don't know if you're talking about Super Mario Bros. or Super Monkey Ball, but it's definitely not optimized more than both of those. Or at least maybe it's just not as hard. This is actually a pretty optimized run, thanks to Arams. Yep. Oh, you didn't do the thing? Oh, what thing? Like when you say he's dead. Oh. Right before an 8 says he's alive. Oh, no. Oh. On par with both? Oh, that's... Oh, <laughs> okay. We're gonna have to fight. Because I watch Super Monkey Ball runs personally, and I don't really watch Super Mario Bros, but I know that's like only one of the most popular games in the entire world. So it's definitely oh. very optimized. Now the time save on Super Mario Bros is like a matter of fringe. Oh no. Especially like the older games. Yeah, uh, yeah, I mean like Super Mario Bros. On well, the yeah, NES. literally the game Super Mario Bros. Yeah. <laughs> it's all about Mac. <laughs> okay, this is the part that I actually had to practice yesterday because doing this at 80%, uh, we basically pretty much skip it. But I found out the easiest way to do this in the. Uh, I don't know why I was doing that beginning. So the easiest way, or the fastest way, and the easiest way to get through this part is to uh, first off just walk past all these guys, and then there's going to be some trucks that spawn. Even on explorer difficulty, they actually do like massive amounts of damage to you, and they can kill you in a matter of seconds. So we gotta stop that. And the way we're gonna do that is, I'm just gonna go over here, pick this up. Okay, I'm gonna actually miss it. You know, I think I'm gonna restart checkpoint for that. I don't need. Oh my gosh. Oh, this game. This game makes me angry. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, I can do it. It's just the game doesn't aim where you say you're aiming. Tell me, there is no runner error here. <laughs> Now let's pick this up, but actually hit the truck this time. I'm going to be safe and aim it. Okay. I should be able to run across. Or we're actually going to die. Yeah, we're going to die. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> this. Oh, at least we made this checkpoint. I don't know why we didn't get this last time, but... Oh. Yeah, it's based on your position, I think. But yeah, this is where the glitch is a godsend. Oh yes, this is so much easier. Because of that, I have to shoot people. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, this should be. Okay. I say should be, but I might die right now. No, we be fine. That's all it takes. Okay, we made it. We're good. So we're actually coming on to uh, pretty close to being at the end of the run now. Get inside! Run for it! Head for the gate! Whew. That part is not fun when you don't have glitches. Because since we have the cover launch, you can literally just like launch around the whole place. And it only takes you about two launches and ten seconds once you get to that spot to actually just get past all that. Because we can't do that. We can do it the hard way. Okay. Now we gotta wait until Sully says, or Nate says, ah oh, crap, it's stuck. Then we're gonna hop on. And wait. I think you would enjoy this run, Rob. It's oh no! You gotta be kidding me! How did that not make it? I forgot a second that like launching over there is not the intended way. Yep. I'm just so used to the launches. Yeah, exactly. Almost there. Oh, you know, I don't know why, but for some reason, whenever they coded that in, they actually kind of messed up on that jump. Sometimes you can die there, even though you should actually grab the ledge. That's what just happened. So, that's actually not my fault this time. Seems good. That was faster. Hey, Nate, you wanna like move? Okay, he's actually not moving. There we go. Almost there. Okay, so now if it'll actually let me jump onto the. Th okay, there we go. Ready? Go. Wow. Okay, that's only a little bit frustrating. Man, if this actually does get onto a leaderboard, this is gonna get beat so fast. Well, it's trash. <laughs> there's hardly, hardly anyone going to run this anyway, so. True. I bet you if Aram sees it, he'll run it. Well, it's not a problem, but I mean, like, I'm just saying. He hasn't saying, run You see two glitches. So. Oh, okay. Well, maybe you won't then. I still have the record for that, and my controller actually died. Oh. In that one. <laughs> well, anyways, that's. Huh. Okay then. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am choking the end of this run so hard. <laughs> Literally just like the dumbest mistakes because in any percent you just slide down these stairs because there's tons of cover to just launch off of. Oh my gosh, this is painful. Okay, so anyways, what just happened during that cutscene was uh, we drank some water, and now we're in this. So we're gonna have to kill these guys. And fortunately for us, this Tau Sniper kills these guys in one shot. As soon as I can find him. Aha. No, stop this. Oh my gosh, the AI is so annoying. This one. Where are you? Oh, there you are. So let's just go ahead and like blast these guys as soon as they come in here. There we go. Wow, that's what I should do every time. Wow, that's a lot faster than shooting the, the towel on that side. Dang. Yeah, these guys hide sometimes. Pretty nice. They get staggered by the grenade launchers. Okay. Come back here, you son of a bitch! 
skip how to tell to get here, we don't know. By the way, we're in the the in-game place that we're supposed to be at. Seven Pillars of Iran or whatever. Looks the Atlantis really cool. of the Sands. Yeah, that's it. Atlantis of the Sands, I could never remember. You can actually overtake Telpot there. Oh, no. Using the glitch, the launch. It's huh. pretty funny. We're back in uh, Colombia. Cartagena. Hotel Cartagena. By the way, the capital of Colombia is not Cartagena. It is Bogota. Yep. I don't really know exactly how you pronounce that in Spanish, because it might sound a little bit different. But I think it's just the emphasis. Bogota. Yeah. And yeah, right, the spiders come back. So we're gonna shoot Nully, I mean Sully, Nully, I don't know who Nully is. We're gonna shoot Sully because he's a backstabbing, conniving little son of a mother. Nice. Nice dodge. I know, right? Oh no, what is this? I definitely wasn't gonna say something else. Don't say dog. Sorry. Oh, yeah, dude, that's like, oh my jeez. How could you do? <laughs> Slipped out. Dude, that's just... you can't even... You can't even... Poor taste. Now we're just gonna... Uh, slide until we get to there. No way out. And then we're gonna get the Tau Snipers, we can really snipe them. They're, they're not Scarabs. Those are... I want to say they're supposed to be spiders, but I don't even think they look like spiders that much. I missed that. Oh, hello. Kill Sully. I'll kill you, you killed Sully! Sweet. Move on. There we go. Okay, so now he has six shots with this launcher. Can't be real. That should be enough. There we go, there's three, four. And there we go. Easy. Now we're gonna pull this as soon as it lets us. There we go. I always forget to go to the center of the pool after this thing. I always just go to the door and I'm like, oh shit. Okay, so now we're gonna go over here. And meet Nate's. Um, what is this? Uh, re reflection, because it's not part of him, of course. And we're still tripping. Oh yes. If you didn't notice. If that if that wasn't plainly obvious, yeah. we're definitely still on drugs. Okay, there we go. Because we have to wait for a reflection to get there. I should, we're getting pretty close to the end. Probably about less than 20 minutes left. Okay, so now that we're not tripping anymore, it turns out we were actually in a very grimy skeleton field pool filled pool lovely so let's just keep on going oh we still have a grenade launcher 10 shots even though it's not really helpful at this point because there's just too many enemies and they're all spread apart Time to play, assholes. might be good on the bridge yeah, possibly. So now we're in the last chapter. Shouldn't be too long from now. Apparently I've beaten this in six minutes. So I'm thinking I have around like ten minutes left actually. Yeah, there's a substantial skip here. Yeah, it's pretty big, but it's not like 
minutes. Yeah. 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 Oh my gosh. You gotta be kidding me. This game really wants me to be angry. Yeah, it's really annoying when you stand. Because yeah. I don't like you. Yep. Because you don't want to melee them because it's slow. But sometimes I just want, really want to fight you hand to hand. And actually, you have to kill everybody here. Or else, once you get to that cutscene, it kills you. Look at yep. this place. Another one of those the resting on this cavern. Doesn't kill look points. Safe, does it? That's an understatement. we got to find a way down there. I don't know why they couldn't just, like, have a door open or something. Because you just like die out of nowhere. Too yeah. Much. <clears throat> I always forget the direction that thing goes out. Ready for this? Let's do it. Soul inside. Yep. Soul back alive. Yeah, I know, right? So in that cutscene, <laughs> he dies. In case you didn't know, he gets shot by a T bolt. But that's because we were tripping on trucks. Uh, so basically, the water in this entire place is contaminated with some kind of like poisoning agent or something like that messes with your mind. And so that's why this entire place has been abandoned and completely empty, pretty much. Well, until Marlo's guys got here, but you know, that's the. Uh oh, hey, that's the back there. I'm to kill you. Not even. Yeah, as long as these two guys spawn back here <coughs> and the sniper. And that means we can continue on to the next part. Otherwise, we can't. Crap, Sully, we got more company. So we're just gonna, gonna shoot past this guy. Not gonna shoot past that guy. This guy shouldn't be thrown. Why is he not running too? Oh well. Shoot, I accidentally grabbed a rocket launcher. Dang. Did not mean to do that. Definitely going into the water. Or a hey. grenade launcher. What am I meant to say? Sweet. I'm holding on to this. Now I gotta go over here, pull this. Sully, so all this part that I'm doing right now would be skipped. But it's alright. We're gonna go and do this part. We're going to hit a cutscene. This is actually the cutscene where Marlo be. dies. You, so you don't ever actually have to fight Marlo, which is kind of cool, but you do have to fight oh, really? Talbot. Well, that's actually not the cutscene. It comes later. Oh, is it? Huh. Yeah. Like after you climb the tower. Okay. This cutscene is where they find the urn that has the like, poison thing with a loose mechanic. Oh, okay. Just gonna fire all around here. Oh, that guy just disappeared. Skip. So, yep, now we're gonna like, wait for Sully to come over here. You just like skip all the rest of those guys. I just didn't want to get hit by the uh, grenade launcher. Actually, I'm gonna go on the other side so Sully can get here. There we go. <laughs> Skip kicked. This is great. Hey, well, I don't want to actually fight you. <laughs> so we're just going to keep on going up. Over here, Sully. Up this way. And up. 
So this is actually right. This is the exact cog we would have continued off of had we done the glitch. So it sk skips a pretty good amount. Here real quick. So I actually have to worry about that grenade. That's a quite skin shake. Okay, we're actually getting really close to time. I'm gonna say we have about four minutes left. So yeah, this is actually the one where Marla dies. I forget about that. She sinks into the sand. Yeah. I forgot that she doesn't die whenever they whenever he shoots the flare into the water. For out of the water. Three goddamn bullets. Just look at all the scenery, look at all these buildings. Just be cool if me. Hot dog is busted. Well, you can guarantee it's gonna be a world record because there's no other run in the category. So, there yeah, you can even a category. Exactly. Hey man. Play, or think harder. I mean, think smarter. Work, work smarter. What's, what's the saying again? I don't know. <laughs> Work smarter, not harder. And hey, if I don't have to work hard to get a good record, I might as well. <laughs> That's why I did Mac. Oh, jeez. <laughs> but you don't even have it. <laughs> no, I, I had it. But I beat the record before me on like three yeah. and a half hours. Slower than me. True. My first run was three and a half hours. Faster than the record. <laughs> That's quite a little bit. Yep. So this is the other fight where we literally just keep on fighting Talbot until he uh, gives us the certain trigger. And it's, it's it feels pretty long. Yep. Someone was saying before that Talbot can take a lot of hits. Yep. See, I don't I don't know if they actually have health. I want to say it's just at some point it like randomly chooses when to do it. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it's a timer specifically, but I think it's uh, like you can't get it until at some point. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. And then after we get to that point, the game is pretty easy. Yep. Sure. Dang. Um, not pressing triangle. And then boost. It might actually be technically a health. It could be it. I don't know. Yeah, there I don't go. think it actually matters. So just do the thing. Yep, there we go, we got it. Hey, that's not cheap. What did you do with Neck? The heck, Rob? <laughs> like almost the same thing. <laughs> wrong game, huh? Okay, so we're actually getting really close to time. We have less than a minute left, I think. So once, uh, after I get on top of this platform after shooting Talbot, I'll jump on to like another platform, and then a cutscene starts. And as soon as that cutscene starts, we're gonna call time. Yep, it's a bit of an awkward point, but yeah. It's definitely not easy to do while you're doing the run and the timer yourself. Mm -hmm. So it looks like the run's going to be about 304. I have no idea if that's fast or not. Me either. Probably not. <laughs> and time. Here we go. I want to say that was about. I can watch it on screen. stream if he doesn't get it quite right to get the exact time. So, yeah. Let's see, it was. 3 or 4 10. 3 or 4 10, yep. That'll be it. So, that is Uncharted 3 glitchless. Three hours. Hopefully, I gave you enough warnings to get the next runner in, because I know I finished 30 minutes earlier than I said I would. Sure, why not? But uh, and if you had, we can do a gl glitch ep exhibition. We have time. Super far ahead of schedule. Ooh, that's bad.
You know what? Well. I, I will show off a few glitches though. Well. We're gonna go ahead and go to the end. Quit with that 2.20.06. So instead of we did this in 2 hours and 20 minutes. Of course we did not. So let's see, where should I start? Um, uh. Chateau has a lot. Even if I can't do half of them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, a little bit ahead. I tried to give you a lot of uh, times so I could make it pretty uh, apparent that I was about to be ready for the next one. How long is 80%? Well, I don't know. I don't, he might be talking about the end game timer, though, because the end game timer for this is 220. Oh, yeah. And my PB on 80% is. Well, the in game timer is like to 12, I think. Hmm. Of I don't Interesting. This ravine being on the map. Ah, they must have just put that in. Let's see if I can get this ledge better now that I'm actually not doing well, we'll the run. Way this way. Watch your step. Oop. Hey, what do you know? I got it. I don't know, kid. You sure we're in the right place? Doesn't seem Oh, that's like good. <laughs> more like Renaissance. Yeah, if you want to go and switch to that, you can if you want. Otherwise, I'll just uh, keep on running over here. Maybe show off a couple of glitches if I can get to it. But yeah, you can cut me off whenever you want. Yeah, this chapter is pretty cool, actually. Yeah, Which especially later in it. You completely mess up the game, and sometimes like you get a, just a black screen while the game is figuring out what you're doing. Uh, yep, yep. Heck yeah, that's that's the greatest thing. Okay, we're gonna jump right here. We didn't get the run, I mean the the good jump, but I still didn't die, so that's still better than what I did. Yep, this is beautiful. Oh, who does that? Come on, Nate. Be right back. So I'm gonna try and show a few glitches and then I'm gonna call it a run. We get our bullets back, by the way. Not a glitch. It's not. I said lock. This is actually a glitch we can do on this, but I don't think it works in patch version because it doesn't want to even start it. You just climb up the beam. So yeah, he just stops. They yeah. patched it out. But it's also super super hard, anyway. So. Yeah, but if you do it right, I've you can get up it. to that platform by walking on the beam a little bit. I may have done it like once ever, but <laughs> I haven't tried it a lot. Yeah, yeah, I got it one time in a run, but the rest of the run was not good, so kind of yeah. sucked. Doesn't really save that that much. I mean, if you get it like you, right away, it honestly yeah, saves a good yeah, like twenty sure. seconds. Yeah, but the good thing about it is that like you get three tries while Sully is walking around. Yeah. So it doesn't really hurt yeah. trying. <laughs> do this the fast way. Oh, as soon as I actually do it right. Hey, there's some kind of mechanism over there. There we go. Actually, doing the puzzle is for chumps. Who needs platforming? Oh, no, dude. Okay, let's see if we can find a way to that tower. Now I'm actually getting some pretty good uh run through this. Now that I'm not doing the run. <laughs> <laughs> Figures. So we're just gonna kind of drift the camera over there to the right, so you can't really see what's going on. Hey, Nate. Cause why would you want to look? Looks Get a look at their old. butts. Yeah, that matches the one in Lawrence's notebook. That must be it. Nice. That's pretty nice, if you ask me. Okay, we're not quite to the section of glitches, but we're almost there. Yep. After the fight in the courtyard. Yep. You know, actually, I'm going to cut time short, so I'm going to get to the one that I showed yesterday. 
which is what we can't actually do because this is patched. But after that, I gotta right. call it quits for today. I really wish my dog would stop barking. <laughs> she just barks at everything. There she goes. Thanks, Shelly. Oh, hey, it's because someone's home. Well, well. A secret passage. Okay. I'll push, you pull. On three, ready? Wait. One, two, pull, or one, two, three, pull? Just pull. Got it. Eight? Hey, you all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'll live. Okay. Let's see. Come on, Nate, let's go. There's no way I'm getting back up there. <laughs> I'm gonna head this way. Just meet me on the other side. You got Sorry about that. Let's continue. Because I'm almost there to the glitches. I should be able to get through here. That's the only problem about Chateau is the, all the major glitches are later in the chapter. Yeah. I guess you could have gone to the, like, to Syria. Cause... Yeah, honestly, that, that might have been a better idea. I don't know. You know, I haven't actually been able to get through the gate on the patch version. It feels like it's different, but I don't know how. I haven't messed around with it, and I don't plan to either. Cause I'm never gonna play any percent on the patched version. No. Oh my jeez, that's 400 people. Hello there. Let's skip over this bump. And there we go. Then all we gotta do is this fight scene, and then I get to show you guys the glitch that I've been looking for. Is it past the skip after the court up there? Yeah, yeah, it is. It is patched. I, I can still show it off though, because you can still get into the wall. I can explain right. more about it. But I just can't like finish it off. Hunt them down. Yeah, yeah, that's what I, <laughs> that's what I was thinking maybe happened. <laughs> Okay, so let's see how fast they can do this. Gun down these guys. Oh, thank God. Probably gonna be perfect RNG. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh hey, guess what? I got a really Jesus, pretty good one. Small so yeah. Oh shoot, I didn't know they did that. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. No, that's BS. I didn't know you'd die if you fell off of there. I've never done that before. I don't think I have either. That's why I was so good. Usually the guy steps away from the window. Yeah, I know, right? I thought, oh, since he's supposed to step away from the window, he should just die if I pull him out. Okay. As soon as I get finished with this little tutorial, I'm gonna go ahead and jump down. Yeah, I know, right? Okay, so you have to have usually a long gun for this glitch. Um, and. Semi-autos are not really the option, but basically if you get to a wall like this, not crouched cover and standing cover, um, you can hold the shoot or the shooting button, whatever you want to call it, and then hold back or tap back and use the roll inside. So basically, now that we're out of boundaries in a glitchless marathon, I can show you guys. So basically whenever I turn this way, it loads in the next rooms, and that's where the puzzle room is right there, the one that I did way earlier and then above me there's that guy that's kind of dead on the floor 
we don't actually get to do that. Uh, we don't actually get to see the cutscene for either of these. We can actually just skip through the floor right here. It brings us way over to that later puzzle with all the little like tiles on the floor. But and the but the reason why we can't do it is this because they made the walls like somehow more solid. So like even though we're having this side loaded up and not behind us, we still can't jump back here. It just won't let us. Anyways, that's 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 all I got for today, guys.